See, I'm thinking about getting one now. I got this like Razer Kayo. It's called. And that's the only one you're using? Correct. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I'm lucky with one. my scenario. I have a DSLR that's for the stream, and then I have this guy for like webcam talks and things oh, like that. This okay. is usually the camera that I use for when I'm streaming. You get the, the hand view the going. Hand view? Yeah. I like when you do that. Yeah. I like seeing those. Yeah. It's, 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 it's cool. nice. Yeah. It's nice for certain See games. What you're doing. I don't think I'm the guy that people think I'm hacking. So like, I'm like, here's my hand, you know? Yeah, here you go. Well, cool, man. Thank you for doing this. I'm stoked to have you on a part of an episode. We've, uh, I guess we've, we've started to get to know each other this year. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Did we have, did we meet at that Ron Memorial show in Jersey? I think we did for brief. You know what's crazy? I don't, I mean, here's the thing. I don't remember meeting you like being introduced or any sort of thing like that, but yeah. I feel like I've known your name and you've known my name for a while. Oh, yeah. Because I've known Merciless <laughs> Concept for a, a long time. Yeah. So I've known who you are. and That uh, Ron show was fun. That was. That was a great time. And uh, I think that was the, that could have been the only time I saw Merciless Concept. And I was very stoked with you guys. <laughs> yeah. I, never, I, mean, I don't that, think I've ever seen cool. the band. Yeah, it was cool because, like, uh, the dudes from Existence have yes. always been in contact with us forever. So anytime they were playing, they would always try to hit us up and try to get us some... Yep, something they're Charlie, doing. I love those guys. Yeah, dude, yeah. Charlie's the man. He I have a video somewhere on my hard drive of him moshing to pure feedback. Like <laughs> we didn't, we didn't start our set yet, and he and was he's just going off. off. Yeah. yeah, like, <laughs> like that not shit. even just like bumping into people, just decking people in the face. Oh my mid, god, mid start of a song, and it was the <laughs> best thing ever. He's so ridiculous. I love existence. I wish they kept going. Yeah, I wish they kept well, the writing. You know. Yeah, I, I know a lot Charlie. of those guys are still doing stuff. Are they? Um, well, I know Charlie started like a new band, didn't he? Yeah, Grievance. That's it. I, that shit was yeah, cool. like yeah, more of the beat town style stuff because he was always into that shit. Yeah, but he just liked the, that stuff. The beauty of having like Zach and them. Um, yeah, I forget the other guy's name right now. I'm blanking. Like but they were all I happy dudes. They're all nice dudes. All nice. Me, what did Mike say? Me, Jeff Manning, the My Better End dudes, Existence dudes, maybe the New Jersey OG sponsors. <laughs> yeah. I think I've known the, yeah. Is that, I don't know. Me and Monocker probably met. We, I think we like really met when he joined last. Mm. I think that's, yeah. I think, I think that's I the same know. for was, me too. Is it? Yeah. But I knew Monocker before funny. that. Like, it I is. played with so many shows with Monocker probably. Probably, um, yeah. With him and what he said he was in Towers, right? Towers, yeah. I think I met him yeah. during Towers, like a few, but we never really talked. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, it's I crazy. played with them. Minocker, did you play Fest of the Best? I feel like I remember that best called that. Yeah. That Fest of the Best was at the Morgan in Brooklyn. Oh, the Morgan. Oh, man. Yeah. Spot. He didn't. Oh, he didn't. No. Oh. I know Towers played that. It was like, listen to this lineup of these <laughs> bands that date that time. It was yeah. Towers. Front lines, um, I think it was like Awaken Providence. Awaken, us. yeah. Uh, it was a weird. It was like all the bands at the same level, but it, it was mm-hmm. just a weird time for all those bands. Last ten played it. Last ten, um, yep. Yeah. That's where we started really getting to know like Wyatt and I knew Wyatt and Storm real real well. Yeah, from that time, and then just from there out, <clears throat> it was just we kept in touch. And now Manaker fell into that circle. He did. I mean, just knowing last ten, I love it. I'm glad he did. I'm glad he's. I love Wyatt. I love those guys. Wyatt's a charmer. And their new drummer. What is his name? Steven, right? Am I getting that right, I'm not Mike? Sure. I'm pretty I'm not sure. Gonna, I'm that dude rips. <laughs> I saw that like latest uh, video. Like uh, he was in the studio tracking drums. Their drummer. Damn. I was like, hey, this That's is sick. this is what they needed. Yeah. They needed, they I mean, that I loved drummer. their last drummer. And this is totally biased because if you look up a certain music video, I don't remember what the name of the song is, but the, their old drummer was wearing our first Merciless shirt ever, ever in the music video. Really? <laughs> like, like with was the it? logo as it is now, that's he was wearing that in their music video. And I was like, see, that's the, these dudes are cool, man. Yeah. Like, all right. with them. Yeah. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> yeah. I was like, damn, I like that shit. Hell yeah. That's a good question, Garo. Do you have any inspirations for death metal vocalists? Like who inspired you, I guess? I feel like I'm all over the road with that. Um, yeah. I feel like I would be like, vocalist. Yeah. I mean, I- I'm directly inspired by like, you know, 
for every sound, right? I'm not like, yeah. a, I, I, do, I do different things and I, yeah, that's more to be seen in the next recordings with my other stuff coming up. But like, Ooh, okay. it's more like John Gallagher, Dying Fetus, Frank Mullen, Suffocation, mm -hmm. um, Jason Hamiski, Build Upon Frustration. It's just like mixing that sound of like pure rage with scary together because yeah. a lot of times like i think the the sound right now the trend of deathcore bands and all that stuff is to see how low you can go not exactly sound yeah. as angry as possible yeah see that's what like i like shit like for example like david from signs of the swarm i think he's mm -hmm. incredible at that style and then i like the style that you do which is like more in your face more powerful right you know, that's, like that's what Johnson i like and in shit. your face is the yeah. perfect way to describe it exactly i love that shit so that always catches my ear and i think that's that's like what caught me with merciless yeah uh, that's like we one were, thing we were always like inspired by weird bands we were inspired by like it was a mix of like despise icon mixed with like on broken mm -hmm. wings yeah yeah that's a good yeah that's literally you guys <laughs> yeah so you're trying to take that pure Such violence that one band does and uh -huh. then the technicality and the death metal of the other side that, if yeah. you can fuse that that's, that's, that's merciless. merciless yeah oh yeah when i when you guys like released the first new single i was so stoked like finally <laughs> finally if you want to know what's sick about that song that song what? is the on the old stuff. demos that's just a re-recording wait is that hold on that's what Suffering humanity is from 2012 oh shit okay see it did sound familiar <laughs> yeah but this is what's crazy is that like for it sounds i remember so me and some of the guys were talking and we were talking about like hey we have this whole album ready to go yeah it's, we've been sitting on it for three years i have a whole story about that shit though and Minaker is sick that it's he he's here because he was like uh -oh. i'm sure if i explain the story he'll understand even more okay but yeah. i think he knows i'm not sure whatever i'm yeah. spinning but anyway <laughs> with the album Mm -hmm. we were like all right we have a bunch of new songs and a bunch of old songs our yep. last release was 2012 a demo and then we did one single in 2013 yeah. and then we fell off the face of the earth yep. um we kept sweating about it we're like do we put out a new video like we want to do it like serious let's make a video with a brand new song and yeah. like really show face and then we kept like getting stuck on concepts of like huh what should the video be who should film it should we have actors should we do this whole fucking rigmarole and then i was like you know what man the world is like in a panic it's like the people it's the people against the people in coronavirus right now straight up and what song do we have from 2012 that relates no better than right now suffering humanity so i was like fuck it let's just rent a garage be pissed and fucking put that out and everyone kind of looked at me and went that's a great idea <laughs> <laughs> i love like, how it came out it was a great video it, you know yeah no it was yeah. a great video who did it who shot it uh Fuck, this is where I'm terrible and I'm old. His his name, <laughs> God, he's gonna hate me for this. Yeah. Name, uh, I think it's uh, Eric. His name is Eric, but I can't think of his last oh, name. Oh, right Eric. Now. Oh man, he just yep. did that new Signs of the Swarm video. Yeah, he's, he's, he's done DiCarlo. Video, Body Snatcher. Yeah, What's man, that? he's the man. Eric DiCarlo. Yes. Yeah, he's the Eric man. DiCarlo. Dude. Yeah, good, good, he's good. amazing. Yep. If you're in a band and you're watching this, go fucking just hit him go up. Go to super Eric. Dude, he's super affordable. He'll fucking do like PayPal payment plans, bro. He's like, wow. what do you got this week? All right, sick. All right, let's do it. Wow. And he came to us. He's from the, he's like, uh, he's from the city, but I think he's more like north. Like he's closer oh, to okay. Jersey than the city kind of thing. And he yeah. came down. He's like, yeah, word. What's up? Let's do it. I was like, That's so awesome. dope. Yeah, yeah I've never met end. him. I've, I think we, we've talked a few times, but like everyone that I know that has done videos with him just love. And You've talked to Tanya too, right? From Monochromatic. Yeah, I work with her band. I've never they, met her, but they, yeah, yeah, we talked. Their last video. Yeah, he did that the latest one. Yep. He's great, dude. Good dude yeah. too. You know, great and fast. Yeah, he loves his lights. Uh, yeah, we always used. To, we were cracking jokes at him because we at first were like, we don't want our videos to look like all your others because you have those light poles in them. Oh yeah, but the like, poles. Yeah, they, they stuck through. They stuck through. He yeah. was like, fine. Right, we, we were gonna make it really red in here. I was like, all right, fine. Yeah, <laughs> just make it extremely red. Mm -hmm. So what, what took the band so long to come back, I guess? Did everyone just go and do, like, new projects? I mean, I know one it's, of your guitarists. I forget his name. I'm sorry. He's in Suffocation. Yes. So, I mean, dude, it's like a big roller coaster, right? So me and Charlie <laughs> were in stuff together right? at one point. Yeah. We were in Pyrexia together. That was a distraction. Um, yeah. So with Merciless, you know, we have other priorities in the band. Taekwon, our drummer's in Sworn Enemy. Oh, our shit. Matt yeah, our guitarist Matt Lane uh, yeah. at the time was in Dehumanized. 
Okay, I remember them. Um, me and Charlie then joined Pyrexia, and oh. Charlie was also filling in for internal bleeding before we joined Pyrexia, so he was always Jesus. busy. And then when when I left Pyrexia, I shortly moved to Washington for about maybe about three quarters of a year. Oh, and then I moved back, and yeah. this is in that time frame that was awkward where they got Suffo got Ricky. And then he only did a few tours and then something happened and I was yeah. there and I was ready to take the fucking throne and they, they hired me for the position that me and Charlie were so focused on Suffo for that whole time. Mm -hmm. And then uh, business decisions happened. I stepped down from Suffo, Ricky stepped back in and yeah. now we're all kind of home. Dehumanized broke up. Yeah. Sworn Enemy doesn't pour a lot. Mm -hmm. uh suffo tours a lot but it's more charlie wants to have his like his baby you know what i mean yeah it's suffo suffo i think charlie oh no suffo i'm sorry merciless is charlie's project that has evolved he's the last like full original i guess oh, okay and then gotcha. me and matt are like his second wave and then we've just been there for i've been in the band for like 10 10 years now it was 2009 or 10 that i joined wow. and then the band was only just a baby band at the time did they just have like one guy before you, one vocalist? Yeah, it was, well, dude, believe it or not, I'm sure you can deep dive on the internet. It Probably. was Merciless was before <laughs> I joined a band that was brand new, and they had members of just whoever wanted to be in a band. One dude had shrieky high vocals. I forget yeah. his name right now. They had a synth player. They had a drummer that only liked prog metal. Yeah, and it was just a whole different band. And then I joined, and then the drummer that was there when i was there was like i don't like this stuff and then we're like all right don't worry we'll find someone and then we got zach austin in yeah and then john mackey uh well he had someone before john mackey john mackey's in vatican now oh really uh, the yeah. i like that band and then zach austin is doing some solo stuff now on spotify and stuff he does like drum videos and stuff oh okay Interesting. but yeah we had we've gone through so many different lineups so many different things to the point where it ended up uh like i was like hey let's play scary shows and everyone kind of followed suit and <laughs> then play scary shows <laughs> yeah let's play fucking angry stuff no one's yeah. playing angry stuff yeah let's be and, real angry yeah I, I mean honestly yeah i had that conversation with the guys in body snatcher like not even long ago where it was like it was before they did their headliner in february where chris hit me up the drummer we've been friends for so long. Mm. and he was like yo what are like some pissed off bands besides like strangle that we can mm. take on tour you know and i'm yeah, like yeah 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 you got a point i'm like who the fuck is like in your face pissed heavy you know what i'm saying yeah and it, like i think if you guys released the song then i would have been like yo you need to get merciful except on some shows yeah but yeah. it didn't click and, that and it, and it was just like but there isn't really any last 10 seconds like it's it's definitely in your face but sure. not but it's like yeah they were like they were just so like i don't we don't know who to get <laughs> It's so funny you mentioned Body Snatcher and Strangled. I have in my head I just pictured one whole scenario where <laughs> I met the dudes from Body Snatcher when they did that last 10 tour. Okay. Uh, yeah. With Ingested and all them. And I met the singer, super nice dude. And uh Wyatt introduced me. He's like, Yeah, it's my boy Kev. And he's like, Oh, what's up, man? He's like, Yeah, he sings for Mercil's concept. And his face like turned white. He's like, What the fuck? Like when you guys <laughs> been show, like he just like woke up let's and he was go. super stoked to meet me. And I was like, Oh, hell yeah, let's do it. Yeah. He asked me to do guest vocals, but that felt curbside. Yeah. But then it was just like uh That's we were hilarious. just chatting it up. And then even with this whole comeback, Scott Lee works with them, I believe, to some degree with Body with Snatcher. Yeah, he yeah, he like co-manages them. Right. Milk, so yeah, then he like... mentioned because during this whole comeback, there's been so many like we're almost signed and it falls through. We're yeah. signed, it falls through, signed, it falls through. And I have a story for that. <laughs> oh, but man. one was recent that me and Scott Lee were trying to work a deal out, you know, making okay. it proper for us and him. And it's like, dude, we put all the money into this right now. We've been struggling ourselves. I don't want to just hand it over to somebody okay. and just, right, just to yeah. put it out. If we got to put it out, I'll, I'll figure out a way. Yeah, yeah we'll come up with the money. And, right. Um, so Scott Lee hit them up asking them, like, hey, uh, if you were to do a tour, like, would you want to tour with this band? And their reaction, Body Snatchers, was like, wait, that was a fucking option? <laughs> yeah, that they would say that. I could definitely see them saying that. Yeah. Chris and Kyle would be like, what? <laughs> even Kyle Shope. I mean, Kyle from fucking Flow Face is in the band. Oh, shit. I didn't Remember? know that. Yeah. Oh, you didn't know didn't he was know in that. Body? Yeah, dude. Oh. So tight. Dude, yeah, so I'm sure Shope was probably like, yeah, what? <laughs> yeah, so that was sick that, that they oh, reacted man. in that way. 
And it's funny though that strangled. Like, I'll just I know um uh what the fuck is his name? I'm so bad with names. It's is it someone from Strangled? You're trying yes. to remember Mike the Michael uh, Mike's the guitarist uh, what, Soto yeah, what's his last name Soto? Soto. All right, yeah. It's like I always know the name, but yeah, I doubt that's myself. How I, trust me, that's how I am. It's so yeah, hard for so, me to remember. Dude, I have a, I I found out that he fucking bootlegged he, in the music video. He's wearing a merciless hoodie in that first video that they got popular in. No way. Dude, he apparently he made his own merciless hoodie because we didn't have Caleb. any available. You gotta be fucking kidding. That, my right computer now. snitched on that story for me. Oh uh, yes, the Mike Soto story. Yeah, Which... and it's it's in the fucking thumbnail of that video. Whatever that what riff is. Song? Is that in the latest one? Oh, no, it was the first one. sleep. He's where he's holding like the guitar with the gun yeah. shape. I'm look. Oh my god! I was like, dude, in my stream, I watched it. And I was like, wow, this is kind of cool. They're rocking our hoodie, and computer goes, oh, that's the dude I know. He told me he made that himself. Oh, <laughs> I was just like, oh, damn it! It's like, oh shit. Oh well, maybe we should, we should. Forty bucks. Yeah, <laughs> I guess we should make some hoodies then, so people don't do this. Hey man, just so uh, everyone's interested here, they're in they're in the works right now. They are good. But yep, like, right there. I have it pulled up. Isn't that funny? Oh my god, dude. Yeah, he he saw the <laughs> show and texted me immediately. Mike did. Dude, it's hilarious. Oh he's god. a good he's a good dude. Those guys are really 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 nice. I met them oh, yeah. on the Body Snatcher tour. They did dude, five that shows. Funny. That's funny. hilarious. Yeah, they're funny ass dudes, and they're just oh, angry. Love yeah. it. I love it. Well, my chat has showed me the singer of that band's other previous band. It was like a Christian metal band. What? Yeah. Really? So pull it up. But like, but like, Caputo, the, like you got it. <laughs> you know how Impending Doom was a Christian band, but yeah. it was still brutal yes. in the beginning? It was like that. This band was the kind of same thing. Same um, thing. Yeah. Metal Replay from my chat knows the band. I can't fucking remember Ouch. the name of it right now. Yeah. Caputo's but if you look up his name, you can probably find it. But yeah, he's been sounding good. Like that vocalist is actually sick. He is. He's very he fucking. That's like pissed. that Nate Johnson sound. Exactly. It's like pissed. Like real pissed. I like that. I like yeah. that. Even I the did see questions popping up in chat. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, there if was I one. Them. I think there was one. Let's see. something about up. breeze. Like if gutturals have, have impacted anything. I have don't remember. Pig squeals it. worn their welcome in there. Broken flesh. That's the band. Oh, bro oh, he was in broken flesh. You see? Yeah. That was a Christian. Technically, yes. If you if you like, that's what I'm saying. It's not like Jesus. yeah, you don't yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> but in the end, it's like sacrifice the skin, and you're like, yeah, fuck yeah, I'm in this. Oh my god, that's crazy. I gotta yeah. I gotta... You haven't heard their early music neurosis? Oh, dude. you have to. Dead risen. That's all you need. That's all you need. Just yeah, that one record. Just and literally that, go listen just to it. it all. <laughs> they completely changed. Yeah, the, that was the same as like Molotov Solution. That whole era yeah. of bands. Oh, I love Molotov. Do you remember? Do you remember the uh, the Conquer split between them and War and a Harless Mouth? No. Oh, oh, well, oh, the split EP. Yes, 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 yes. But that's they're not. They are just a yes. guttural band. I thought you meant like uh, for some reason. I thought you meant they had like some kind of. I don't know why I thought that. Is it? What's that? I thought you meant that they had like some kind of beef or something. Oh, no, 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 no. Like an, a, an actual split. Yeah, the split. The I remember looks, the split. It almost looks like a it's skull not... with like a skull wearing a suit almost kind of thing. Yeah, it's just not. I don't think it's on streaming services. I think it's on YouTube. And here, the song I'm thinking of, hold on. I think if I type it in YouTube, it'll pop up for me. Yeah, it was a 10 inch split right here. Whenever I'm drunk, I'm like, why can't bands be good again? And I type <laughs> this in. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, it's always it is what it is. It is. Yeah. I I always forget the name. This of the is all you need to know, Caputo. Song. Oh, did he? Oh yeah, thank you, Caputo. Yeah, Neurosis. That's all you need from Impending Doom, the first record. The Sin and Doom of Godless Men EP and Hell Dead Risen. Yep. All right. So the song I'm thinking of, I'm gonna post it in your chat. Yeah, do it. It's so fucking heavy, and like the artwork of this video describes it all it's just like a standstill picture of maybe an old shirt design of theirs but it says it all <laughs> yep <laughs> it describes the time so well no dude yeah that was the time dude the MySpace. myspace days but like dude 
era. The man. song. The song starts at like 42, 43 seconds. Perfect number, 42. 40. Sounds so different. Oh, yeah. That is... It doesn't it's even like, sound like Molotov. <laughs> no, listen to that and go right to the next record, and it's like, what the fuck Night and day. Yeah. yeah. It's like, just call it a different band at that point, bro. That's that's the theory in my brain. Yeah. If Merciless ever started putting sing singing parts in our songs, it's oh a different God. band. Oh, my God. Yeah, <laughs> that's all it is. Yeah. Holy shit. And it'd be that's... called Have Some Mercy. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's it like... Is... Yeah. I wish... Oh man, I've been saying it for like years. I'm like, man, this is like the perfect time for a band like Molotov. Yeah, but there'd be some fuckery. There would be It'd some fuck fuckery. It up a little bit. Yeah, I know, right. That's the thing. It's always like there's a money factor. Like Mike said, they signed a bigger label. It's like, yeah, but you got signed because of your demo. And then you came out and did some bullshit that some guy in the office told you to do. Mm -hmm. Now it's different. <laughs> yeah, I know. Crazy. Um, how long ago did you get into streaming? We'll just flow Dude, around. This, I got, the story yeah. starts where it was actually when I was in uh, Suffo that I thought of it because uh, I knew um, I, I played a lot of CS and Counter-Strike, uh, yeah. CS and uh, Call of Duty and stuff like that. Uh -huh. Just when I was home in between tours and I was like fucking on it so long. And then I saw other people making money and, you know, you uh, always have okay. that voice in your head like no one, no one wants to watch that. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. You know, and it, I, I started thinking about it and I br actually brought it up to Hobbs when I was still in Suffo. I was like, do you think I should do this? Like I see other people like doing this and this was like four years ago now and oh, no one, wow. it really wasn't boomed yet. Like Ninja didn't like blow up yet. Yeah. And then I was just kind of like, huh, like maybe, uh, maybe I'll try it. And I gave, I brought it up to him and he's like, don't be one of those like YouTube guys. I'm like, All right, fine. <laughs> all right, fine. And so then I put it off until actually when I left the band, I was home and I had like all my, I ca I've always bought cameras and mixers just for home recording and like yeah, all so this other stuff, stuff that I just, yeah, I already have it. So why not like try it? And so I ran it up and I remember streaming to fucking nobody for months and it was just me playing like whatever I wanted, whether it was PUBG just dropped final release. So I was just okay. playing that and Call of Duty Black Ops 2 or 3, whatever. Yeah. And then, uh. Yeah, and then it just kind of picked up, and I've just had fun doing it. Because if I, I play games a lot, so if I'm going to do it by myself, what's the point of turning it on and just having someone to describe the story to? It's kind of mm -hmm. fun. It is. And now no, that it it's turned into something that, like, helped me survive the fucking pandemic for way longer, uh, there's yeah. a music crowd coming over now, and you see how it's kind of like, it's it almost is. like it we're like the little Joe Rogan click. You know what yeah. I mean? We all know each other because we know the same thing. Uh-huh. Yep. And it's cool. We're, we're here to help each other and it's fun. No, it is but, tight, man. A lot more people are coming over and shit. It's been, it's cool to see it. It's like, I have a lot more friends that have been like signing up for Twitch and like getting into it. Not like streaming, but like watching other streamers, you know? Yeah. And then like enjoying it because I didn't really dive into it until the pandemic. I did before, but I never really had time. Right. And um, I finally did. And I just, you know, I was like, okay, I, I understand this. <laughs> I get yeah. it. You know? I'm like, you know, so I'm sick. gonna give it a I shot. I think my purest example is like Mike Leone, dude. Mike oh. Leone was like, I didn't know he was streaming, and I just stumbled. I'm like, oh, oh fuck, this guy's playing Triple Turo songs. Yeah, and I'm like, oh fuck, he's like jams with fucking Cavalera. Oh, yeah. he's in Soulfly. Yeah. Oh, and like, but I've hung out with Soulfly, and I was trying to remember, like, did I ever meet this dude? Yeah. And then I was just talking in chat, and when I mentioned my who where I was from, he he remembers me, and I remember him, and then. <laughs> Just because of Such knowing him world. and we talk on stream and stuff. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, just the other day, it's the weirdest, funniest thing. The their new, uh, the new bassist. I don't know if he's new or he's been in there for a while, but the bassist of Pig Destroyer comes into my chat. He's like, "Yeah, what's up, Mike? Tell we're what? boys." And I, he told me to check out your stream. I was like, "This is sick. This is it's the energy cool. I miss from shows." <laughs> yeah. Like, you know when you like walk into a circle of friends with a beer in your hand, you're like, "Oh, what's up, dude? Like you're oh, in that yeah. band. I'm in this. Like that is the coolest experience." And Never I just had that not. plan. I was playing Mirror's Edge, jumping Where? from build to building to building in a <clears> slow <throat> night. But then, dude, hey, Pig Destroyer's in my chat right now. That's, That's fucking a, sick. So sick. Yeah, I've met a lot of cool fucking people through Twitch. I mean, we, I guess we technically do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So it's an example, know? prime example right there. Yeah, there's everyone. another one. It's, it's insane. Even like, I never really, I've met like Joe from Fit for an Autopsy before, like a little bit, yeah. but now we've like been talking more and shit. 
and I just, a cool dude. yeah, he's going to do one of these with me in November. And nice. this, yeah, it's just been cool. Like I've been like Andrew from Fallujah. Yeah. You know, the drummer. Yeah, he was another one that I've, I've played with just because of, I think it was Menaker, me and some others that all got together playing Call of Duty or something. It's sick. It is. It really is. Ruma Dad, do you fun. remember your top donation was? Are you asking me that question or Kev? I know mine. Do you know yours? Yeah. <laughs> so it was one night I was drunk. Yeah. And uh, I was screaming and I was having fun. And um, <laughs> I forget what I was playing, but I was so focused in the game. Yeah. And some guy, some guy, uh, what's his fucking name? Owen was his name. Okay. And he was dropping bits. He's spamming bits here and there and there and there. <laughs> and he would always say, like, yo, how much to do this? I was like, yeah, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. And then one day I was hammered. He goes, how much to shave your beard? Like 200? I was like, fuck that. Like maybe a thousand or something. I don't remember saying it. I don't remember saying a thousand. One day, maybe like a week or so later, I get a dono for like a hundred bucks from him. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Thanks, man. Yeah. That's just pogging and laughing. Yeah. Right. They're just lulling at me. I'm just like, whatever, another hundred. Another hundred. I'm like, what the fuck no. are you doing? Three hundred dollars. Why are you doing this? Four hundred. Five hundred. <gasps> Six hundred. Meanwhile, I'm like, what the? I'm literally like, like one weird. after the other, like coming in yeah. a row. Yes, and he hits it. And his gimmick was he always did like ten ninety nine. Like he always did the ninety nine. But what he did was he sent me nine hundred and ninety nine dollars, and then he pulled up the clip of me saying I would shave my beard for a thousand, and I think someone else donated a dollar. And they even it out. Oh my god! It was to shave my beard. So what I did is I was like, "Fuck! I guess I have you to." You have to my do it. Word is there. Um. So I got my buzzer. I came back to the camera and I gave myself a lemmy. I went right down the middle. You went right. <laughs> I went right down the middle, and I was like, "This is awesome." Chat was like, "You know what? Leave it. We're not mad." And Are you serious? I, and then I started hating my own face. That I was like, "Fuck! Maybe I should trim it down." And you know, you know the yeah. shame, right? When you go, maybe shorter. Nope, get rid of it. Just Maybe short. It. Yep, get rid of it. To so the good. point where the next day I had a like the pedo stash. I had That's just it. A, I had just the mustache <laughs> for like a day and a half, and I got made fun of, and it was the worst. And then I got rid of it all. Got and it. Everyone hated my face for about two months. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I, I'm not. I don't like my Dude, face either without a beard. So yeah, I cannot stand that one. <laughs> right? You well, definitely have to pay me a it. grand to do it. <laughs> Uh, isn't you're not the same man anymore no dude <laughs> i probably wouldn't stream for like two three weeks <laughs> yeah, just, imagine, just imagine your icon with your dog on your twitch is like you just have a one tone face that's it no no <laughs> dynamic beard no shape no <laughs> dude that's God, insane that's <laughs> dude, so they're crazy it. people out there bro crazy yeah, awesome yeah. people not crazy in a bad way that's just say, really that cool someone to beard. do that was my favorite beard i've ever had looking really back. Yeah, it was like the most full because I have like I'm patchy in spots, but yeah. like I gotta get it to a way that I'm I'm proud of it, and that was the moment, and I shaved it for a thousand bucks. Dude, I would have shaved my like all right, fuck it, I'm gonna fuck. Let's go. Dude, my barber was mad. I told him the story. And oh, he you was did? just like what the fuck, and he's like, like you wouldn't do it. <laughs> like, if he gave you a thousand to shave it. Like, where's my money? I want to shave it for a thousand dollars. Oh God, that's hilarious. Roomba man. says, "Biggest show you've ever played." Oh, that's cool. uh, by by de by default, I have to say Summer Breeze Festival in Germany. <laughs> yeah, it was about thirty thousand. Um, that was insane, and it was cool because it was during the day. We actually shared the stage that day with Decapitated, Fit for Autopsy, Cryptopsy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, it was when I was in Suffo. And uh, who else? There was a bunch of fucking bands that day. And then me and Joe actually were walking around that whole festival. And we were just standing on side stage while Obituary played, Whitechapel played. And oh, oh God, they were serving crap. Jägermeister on a tap backstage. Oh, oh. It was bad. Oh, God, I can't do Jäger. Every time <laughs> someone says Jäger, I'm like, oh, God. Yeah, I used no, to kind of like, like it when I was younger. And Jäger and I don't get along anymore. Yeah, Anytime no. I think about it, I get a bad feeling. Yeah, it's just like, kind of gives me, it makes, I don't know, it gives you that feeling like, oh man, I might throw up. Yeah, it's like you, your mouth gets like wet, like more saliva, like you, yeah. you triggered. <laughs> as, as soon as you say the word, you know what it tastes like. Right, right. Right away, you're like, oh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this was a mistake. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Mistakes were, oh, an abstinence. My oh, second no. biggest, 
My second biggest bet, I think, would be Brutal Assault. They're all festivals. Oh, yeah, Brutal Assault, dude. Holy shit. Brutal Assault in Czech How Republic was, was amazing. It, dude, I, that's the show I think about often, and that's what that's the show that makes me miss touring. What year was it? That was 2017. It was. Dude, listen to this. Yeah. If I had to Play look up that flyer, just, just alone so, in that day, yeah. um, it was Hatebreed, Terror, Rotting Christ, um... <laughs> uh havoc now hold on it's so many let me just look it up i have a shirt somewhere that says like summer uh no no what was it brutal assault artist or whatever it's just, oh, and it yeah. just lists all the fucking bands on it um you look it up to everyone yeah I mike caputo said first time i ever blacked out was from jaeger blacked out threw yeah. up all over myself woke up at 7 a.m went to jury duty <laughs> crazy <laughs> all right so let's listen to this whole day ready yeah go uh we got I'm gonna I'm gonna say Perfect. the bands I like here. Higher Power, Nervosa, Fallujah, Cryptopsy, Miss May I, Havoc, Terror, Nile, Hatebreed, mm. Emperor, Opeth, Suffo, Rotting Christ. Why do they oh man, Europe has like the, the best festival, man? Yeah, and that's Fucking just hands down. That's yeah, just that now, day. That that's just that one day. To, the next day would have been uh First mm. Blood, Aversion's Crown, Crowbar, <sighs> Sacred Reich. Yep. August Burns Red, Trivium, Carcass, uh, Electric Wizard. After that would Electric be... Electric Wizard played? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Actually, the first Hello. day was <laughs> Dillinger Escape Plan, Overkill, Gore Guts, Amity Affliction, Flesh God Apocalypse. And, Jesus. But the way, the way they do that stage is so impressive because it's two massive stage side by side. Oh, so okay. the minute... The minute the one band ends, the, other one the lights go down, and the other one sets up. And the lights just boom, and first song. Wow. And it just starts up. It's, it's fucking like so on sick. Time. And there's a jumbo screen in between. What? Yeah. In between the two stages, there's a massive jumbo screen. What the fuck? Do they play the show on there? Yep. Of, yeah, so wow. you have a good seat anywhere. You anywhere have a good you are. fucking... Yeah, I have, a, I have a small clip. I was going over it the other day. I don't remember where I put it. Buffalo tour. Oh, I think I have it right here. Yeah. I could probably send you a short, short, short snippet. All right. So I was yeah. on, I was going down memory lane the other day mm -hmm. and I have this clip that someone took from Instagram and it was of us at summer breeze where you have a view of the jumbotron, but you also see this wicked bolt of lightning go over the stage. Oh, fuck. It's like, I yep. felt like I was in metalocalypse this day because, <laughs> um, <laughs> In that show, yeah, we, I was so nervous that whole tour because it was my first time with Suffo in Europe. Oh God! So yeah. like everyone's like, "Where's Frank? <laughs> like, where the hell's Frank Mullen?" Yeah, I step on stage and we are direct headlining of the last band. And oh, mind you, the whole crowd is still there. Not, it doesn't look. You know what I mean? As yeah. the night goes on, people start people leaving trigger, group. trickle away. Yeah. No. Yeah, and it wasn't happening at all. And I got so scared that once I stepped out, you were gonna see it. Yeah, and I was gonna see people walking out. I'd be like, "Ah, oh, fuck!" Yeah, but dude, we start up. We open with Thrones of Blood, and oh, the shit just rip open. But then it starts pouring rain in the first few notes. Oh and I'm my like, oh. god! I'm like, now people are gonna Timing. really, yeah, dude. There's like people doing <laughs> the wave in the crowd, but just it's people putting on ponchos. <laughs> Dude, it's so sick. I th I was so like, oh my god, this is a movie. This is happening. This is really happening. Everyone just has ponchos ready, right? <laughs> yeah, in their pockets, ready, just ready Fucking for it. We ain't real leaving. Festival. Real <laughs> festival people. Hold on. I love that. I'm gonna see if I can post something to you real quick. Yeah. For like a Google can... Drive or some bullshit. Yeah, you can do either of our. Actually, yeah, we're on Discord. I can fucking send it to you right here. Yeah, well, the video just send. Yeah, it's message. a tiny, tiny, tiny. Check oh, that out. okay. All right. Let's see if I. I'm just doing. It. Be careful of the audio. It might. It might be loud. It's from loud. like a okay. shitty European brand Android phone. <laughs> <laughs> Was it your or someone else's phone? I assume. Yeah, yeah. I, I just you know after a show, <laughs> my favorite thing I would just look up the hashtag suffocation. Just to see, like, if anyone got killer footage and posted it on, like, Instagram or something. Oh, uh, okay. But you watch this video. It. This is, mind you, this is just the left stage. Oh, you know what I mean? That. Yeah. I'll put it, I'll just put it right here. Sorry, Rosie. Yeah, we got it. Oh, wait. I like how, you, I like what you did with the place, by the way. Thank I you. Like little poster on the wall and all my little logo. All right. <laughs> yeah. 
God damn, dude. Look at that. Ready? Watch the lightning bolt. Top left. Wait, hold on. I need to start it over. Let's do it again. Oh! Oh! It's pouring rain. It's pouring rain. You see in between the white yeah. stripes? Yeah! Holy Dude, it's shit! Boring. Let me rewind real quick. And we are out quick. there. Just like, look how many people. And then I know. But like, take what you see of the crowd there and times it by two because oh, well, there's yeah. that many people to the right in front of the other stage. So oh people are watching God. the show diagonally. That's fucking insane, dude. The whole then, entire lightning strike across. Dude, the lightning. That's pure metalocalypse energy right there. That's incredible. <sighs> I need this fucking world to get figured out real quick. Dude, dude real quick. Go we got yeah, I know. <laughs> you guys it's start so coming out with new music, and I'm like, fuck, I want to see this live. Dude, <laughs> I, I want to so go to a show, man. It's so bad. Because I mean, I'm bad. seeing it firsthand. We're trying to put this Merciless record out. Dude, I yeah, bought the I, URL. I got a website. I got, got a Shopify. All, like, set it it's up. in fucking motion, people. Yep. But <clears> on top of that, I need, we got to promote it, you know? I know. And it's like, you want show, you want to play shows. Yeah. To promote it. Record release show. Push Brooklyn, it. Let's go. Oh, like, I want God. I want that vibe. This this chaos. Do you have oh. an idea when it yeah, you probably don't. Are you guys kinda of holding off right now? What's that? Are you guys like holding off on releasing? Like the release? I yeah. want to release it tomorrow. But it's like <laughs> I wanna you know what the problem is is that I have just it's, me it's a... and the band. Like I, I pretty much try to manage it and and like to, you know who yeah. we talk to for merch who we talk to for promotion who we talk to for management who we talk to for signings like that all comes through me first and like i want to all these labels right that yeah. are like these big cartel labels <laughs> they just hit you up to be like yo man here's your contract check your email and then it's like yeah so we're gonna take the the <laughs> we're gonna take the album and we're gonna give you 25 percent of it like, that's where wait, yeah where's my advantage what are you talking about you're not <laughs> you, it's like saying like hey man if you give me all your sticks of bubble gum i'll give you one half chewed yeah it's like what the fuck do you mean yeah i think it's it's hard right i feel like it's definitely harder for labels right now because they know no one can play shows especially right. when you're like a smaller band um, yeah it's gonna be hard they know it's gonna be hard to sell the record i guess or sell a good amount yeah. when the band can't even go and play shows so it's right. like i can understand labels being hesitant of course that's why the like, one i head talked head. to you about before i think that could be a good move maybe yeah on the digital side of things yeah but it's just it's one of those things but still to this it's tough because i can it is. like we can promote it you for know what sure i, mean? if it's really I know just you can moves, cross promote it like you can definitely have bit, a lot of friends bands like even like you know if Suffle's cool with you like posting about it you know sure you know yeah. put, you know and you they, can get that are. cross promotion yeah, because stuff was weird, dude. Yeah, like, I, 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 I love figured. those guys, but I part of my oh, internal struggle with them is that they have seven hundred thousand followers on their Facebook and they don't post anything. Yeah, drives me fucking insane. And definitely don't post. You're not supposed to post a lot, but like at least no, but like once something. a once a day, once every other day. Yeah, it's just those guys are but old I get school it. mentality. Yeah, if Hobbs, it's hard. If Hobbs just made his own YouTube, he would just be fine. Oh, honestly, doing yeah. instructional stuff, he'd be fine, but he, he, he doesn't want to be bothered. He doesn't. That's, yeah. I, I, I mean, that's I how some people that. are. You can't, you know, some people don't want to be in the front, you know, I guess. Yeah. Or like in yeah. that sort of way, digital side, like a YouTube and Twitch and stuff. Some people aren't that. But they'll go yeah. on stage in front of thousands of people and rip. Yeah, because it's no easier. No big deal. They just it is easier. Clock out. Yeah, that's all it is. Yeah. Realistically, will new Merciless album be released this year? I'm hoping, honestly, for next month. We were, we were trying for Halloween, uh, oh, but really? we, in my mind, be, just be on the lookout on Halloween. We might announce something. Oh, okay, cool. So that's where, I, that's where my head's at. Uh, yeah. But really, dude, it, it's just... I want just, some fucking merciless merch. I will buy it, it, everything. That's literally where I it's going to go, man. I want a hoodie. Yeah, Give dude, me a like, hoodie with the logo on it, bro. So <laughs> the problem is we have, right now, we have our all-in merch store. We have the t-shirts, long sleeves, and shorts oh, available. Yeah, I, I feel think like I stuff just got restocked. Yeah. Um, but the problem was we designed that merch to be merch mm. pre-order stuff. And what happened was we oh. got a short little quick deal with all in. So we were just like, oh, here, take this. Gotcha. And we were trying to do That's a thing cool. where if we sent them CDs, could they handle our distribution? Yeah, like and the they pre-orders. Were like, no, and... no, right. 
they said no it's just shirts and i was like or just merch so i was like all right really? fuck it. they don't so, do pre-orders anymore no it's just merch they uh, just do anything in their in their house Trump. um Oof. So that's why for me, I was like, fuck, well, now we need more designs. Because I, I, if I'm going to put the record out, we got to have a merch bundle. You got to have oh, a bundle. Oh, yeah, yeah. I tell everyone. You can't do you it without Here's a, a fucking bundle, JPEG bro. of our CD. Please buy it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got you know? to do the shirt CD. You got to do the shirt hoodie CD. You got to do the hoodie right. CD. You know what I'm saying? Right. Hoodie poster right. CD. And that's, what you just said is yeah. what we're trying to do. Hoodie, yeah. shirt, CD. And I have a shirt design right now that just got finalized, and I'm very, very excited. Will there really? be a vinyl? Uh, Maybe not after. right away. <laughs> after, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> a limited, limited press. Oh, we'll limited. Fine. We'll do like 20 to 30. Real, we'll see how it goes. Oh, man. Dude, the thing is like. It's hard with you know, vinyl, but I, I get it. Have you seen, have you seen those like, um, those, uh, the merciless hoodies that we have, the LIDM on the back? I don't think so. So we I made like 50 of them and right. I saw that I, this is part of the story of why I guess the strangled dude made his own dude. People were putting <laughs> them online for like 150 bucks. Get the fuck out of here. We only made 50 of them. And then I remember when I printed them, we got them made with cold cuts just when he started. Oh, way back. Okay. Yeah. Know, so John. when cold cuts first started up, we had our hookup yeah. Aaron from Jesus Peace. He he was actually singing for CDC at the time, and oh. I knew the CDC guys. Oh, here they are. So I found them. I hit. A, oh, are you looking it up? Oh yeah. Yeah. Well. So, yeah. See, it's just simple. White logo, white on the back, merciless. Yeah, you know, Long Island Death Metal. We we recreated that in a great a black T-shirt with gray logo a few years ago, and then we did pocket print red and with red LIDM on the back. We keep it simple but hard, you know. Oh, it's hard as shit, and your logo is fucking awesome. Yeah. There it is. That's the, there that's the, it is. when was that posted? Look at the, the date on it. <laughs> September yeah. 14, 2013. <laughs> that's when, that's when we were promoting the fucking demo. That's oh when we were like, my oh, God. And, and that's when we were playing shows with Hatebreed and Shadows Fall. Oh. And that's when we were in our peak and we were doing moves and we're like, yeah, let's get it going. Wow. But now we're trying to reclaim that, that, that vibe. And now we, uh, yeah, please. Yeah. Do it. I, yeah. And I have a I have a pretty sick merch design design, but I don't want to show it just yet. But that's no, what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, we got a really sick artist from Pittsburgh. Um, he's super dark, super eerie, and it's I like, like that. me and Charlie have been talking about it a lot. We're like trying to be different, but without trying to be different. Does that yeah. make sense? Uh, you don't want to look you. different. You just kind of want to like something have the thing that someone doesn't. Yeah, something. Yeah, trying to create like something a little bit of a, a little original. Right. It wa yeah. We want it to look like a brand. You yes. know what I mean? Like yeah. when you see like the Maryland death metal logo, you yeah. just think visceral discord and fetus, but like, yeah, there's not a lot of bands repping long Island death metal where no. we're trying to be like, look, we're, we're shining a light on something. This yep. is us. We're trying, we're trying to push it out. Yep. And our, the new shirt has a look that I think you're going to see a lot in future designs where it's weird. It's eerie. Yeah. And it's simple. I'm so, I know a lot of people would be <laughs> are, yeah. are waiting. Yeah, I know. And it sucks, man. We, we, we did all that promotion. We did the music video. We did the two singles. And then that was another thing when we were trying to talk to Scott Lee. Yeah. It was like, fuck, do we out put, there. he's like, yeah, put another single out. Put it. I'm like, dude, we're going to throw away our nut right now. We put out four songs to promote an album that has 10. Yeah. You know, it's like, yeah. Off. like what? Like, so you can just download it the rest <laughs> you know, you or just, just, just yeah like rip it yeah exactly but, um but Better so response. i never spoke about it the whole connection of why i was talking about monocker and all that stuff, oh yeah the, yeah yeah the big delay on this record yeah. was um we got signed the same time last 10 did by siege music oh I remember. yeah okay so it was no zodiac last 10 merciless that got signed uh, oh, at the at near at the, the same, same time. time. Oh wow! Yep, Jamie Graham and Scott Lee and a few others tried getting together and doing this label. I remember. Uh, yeah. Last ten put out the violent sound. Yeah. No Zodiac put out the album. I don't know. Who it was, I think it was like a self titled. I think it, it was, was like self titled. The, yeah, it was like the the orange just the yellow skull on the cover. Yeah. Something like that. And then uh, so they put that those records out. And what happened was with us, we submitted just when they decided to not be a label anymore are you serious so they gave us a thousand bucks for drums and nothing else like they were like all right we were they, they were working with us you know they yeah like, i got us, you a few bucks for the artwork 
thousand yeah. bucks to promote the, to, to get the drums tracked, and then everything else they just dropped out. So now I'm like sick. Now we have recorded drums, not even edited, nothing, just dry drum tracks. Yeah, and nothing else. So we took it upon ourselves. I tracked everything in house: vocals, bass, guitar. Then we sent it out to a guy named Peter. He did the mix of the first, not the fr- maybe the first Slaughter to Prevail album, the one that's like orange and blue. I don't oh, know the name okay. of it. Yeah, it's that EP. Right. So he mixed yeah. and mastered that. So I was like, well, that sounds good. And we yeah, got to refer to that guy. And he gave us a super sick deal. Mm-hmm. And um, pretty much we couldn't even afford to pay off the masters because we were just, everyone was doing their own thing. No one was really taking focus on it. So yeah. it was like, in a way, being held hostage on its own. On its own, yeah. So then we were just like, fuck, when are we going to get this shit together? And then we kind of put it on the side burner, and then that guy got pissed at us, and we're like, sorry, dude, like, nothing's happening right now. And then uh, yeah. finally, just now, we were like, fuck it, now's the time. Now everyone's not focused on one thing. We can try to get this out. Yeah. And it's funny that this record's been done for three years. Three years. It hurts. <laughs> it hurts. It hurts. It's been done. I've been listening to this record for three years, and I can't wait to just put it out and forget about it and, like, play shows on it and just write some new write shit. Write some new shit, yeah. Has Charlie <laughs> been right? Who writes most of the stuff? Is it Charlie? It's it's weird, man. Like, in the past, it was, like, more Matt, but, it, like, Charlie would write on okay. top of what Matt would start. Yeah. But now that Matt's been busy with work, Charlie's trying to write a lot. But Charlie right now is writing a Suffo record. Oh, I see. So it's, like... We're just trying to get this out just to get us fun financially moving. Yeah. Like to have a merch store going and to have all that shit ready to go. Yeah. It's so tough. It's like it's like trying to run a food truck with no gas. Yeah, no, it is really tough. Especially right now, more so than ever. Because if like this whole shit wasn't going on, probably would have been out already. Because you would have been able to play shows and everything. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Well well, yeah. Find out this tour, or this run, or these shows, these release shows. When, when I saw out, Wyatt last, when back. I saw Wyatt um, on that ingested run, we hung out with him in in, in Brooklyn. Yeah, I, I had a private listening party in my car. I brought him oh, and a few others in. in my car, checking it out, and they were just like, "Bro, if you need a run, East Coast, we're doing it." Last ten merciless tours. So that's already on the look. Be on the lookout. Me and oh, yeah, are gonna be bunk buddies. And we're gonna <laughs> snuggle up. It's cool. Like I have even told people like. Um, why it's the reason why I like started to work with him just like right band. Yeah. He, he was the one because I was booking last 10. I booked last 10 for a long time. And uh, I don't book him anymore, but Sean at the age of, yeah. but um, nice. But anyway, yeah, he was like, yo, you need to pick up just you need a tour. I, yeah, I never really knew them, you know? And then yeah. I, I checked Well, they out. never really came out here. No, they never did the until they 2015. Only, they were like hometown heroes. Yeah, they were part-time up until like three years ago, four years ago. Yeah. And um, yeah, why it's the reason, man. Why it's the fucking... I always talk high why because that dude is literally one of the best guys. Yeah, I think. yeah. I mean, even... Good taste in music, was... too. What's that? Good taste in music. Oh, for sure. Queachy you know? boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and... Uh... <laughs> I, I, dude, I, I knew those dudes for a while. Like, we were like the bands that would message each other. Like, oh, oh yeah. shit, send me a song for you. I'll send me a song for you. Yeah. And then we all met first time when Charlie went out with Suffo for Summer mm-hmm. Slaughter. The year oh, okay. they came out with Nile, Cannibal Corpse. Yeah. Um, that was a crazy fucking lineup. Listen Fair. to this Slaughter to Prevail, Nile, Cannibal Corpse, Suffocation, Ingested, yep. Enterprise Earth. Oh yeah, Enterprise. After the on. burial, and Ooh, that's one I'm forgetting. On that, that was Summer Slaughter, yeah. right? You're talking about? Yeah. Back yeah. when Summer Slaughter did one good year and then one shit year, yeah, they it was always like flip off. It was, yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, but that's where I we hung out with them the most. Oh, we hung okay. out with those dudes, and we became super close. Oh yeah, right. And yeah. now everything. Carnifex was on it. Revocation. Carnifex. Yep. Crazy and Revocation, right. Yep, Christian. We, we split a bus with them. It oh, was, really? Uh, stuff on Christian. Yeah. Oh, that's sick. That is fucking sick. Wait, Max, Alex, hold on. You went on that tour with Suffo? I was with them, not in the band yet. Oh, okay, okay. Because so I was gonna say, I'm like, I went to the Dallas and Austin, or Dallas and Houston dates. I don't tour. I, I worked with, you know, I was working. With 
I don't think I was there for that. I was only on the bus with them for about the two, uh, first two and a half weeks. Oh, okay. Were you doing like and merch was, and shit or just like hanging? Yeah, I was just hanging out, doing merch. I, I was doing guest vocals for Funeral Inception every night. Oh, really? So, yeah, I just came out in flip-flops, not giving a fuck. <laughs> I was just dropping down like flip-flops. with a beer in my hand doing, God, God. <laughs> It was so sick. That's fucking awesome. They called me Coach Muller on that tour. Coach Muller. Like yeah, because they kept like coming out with flip flops. They're like, can you just fucking not? I was like, nope, coming nope. out. Nope, coming out with the flip flops. <laughs> oh, God damn, it's so great. much fun. You got any inspirations for, you know, lyric writing? Are, are, is it lyric all writing? you behind the lyrics? Do the uh, other guys contribute all? Not Wait. really. It's always been kind Thanks of me. Um, yeah. It's more like I, I do get inspired by a lot of movies, a lot of games I play, a lot of I like figured, just yeah. ideas. You know what it is? I think so negatively, I think. <laughs> I'm waiting for Chris to jump in and laugh. Like, all, the time, all the time, I'm like, fuck. Like, I'll just, you know, if the room gets too quiet, mm. I'll just be in my, in, my, in my own head going like, God fucking damn it, man. Yeah, and she'll I'll go, what's wrong? Way. I'm like, do you see, like, the world right now is insane. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, I've, yeah. I start, this is where I start breaking it down. I'm just like, do you know the world would be fine if everyone just fucking cooperated and, like, what it would take for that to happen? And then I start <laughs> thinking, like, an angry asshole wanting to go on a rampage. And I take that little guy and I use him as the protagonist in a song. <laughs> and yeah. I just, you know, and it, it becomes, like, and that's the, the <laughs> lyric content, you know. And there it is. <laughs> yeah, it's like fuck, man. Like, how? Like, uh, that's what Subject Forty Two is pretty much about. It's more. I think I had an idea like that, and it be it evolved into like, fuck. I can't. I can't do anything. I'm trapped. Yeah. And the lyrics are about just another test subject being withheld from doing what he wants. And it just it's a story about a monster just breaking free, mm-hmm. and like like destroying his own creator in a way like you held yeah. me back and you fucking tampered with me but now watch i'm gonna create your nightmares like <laughs> it's just kind of like a good angle i think oh it is. <clears throat> that's how i got I mean, even with this like how everything is now if i don't have like anything going on i just start getting it head. yeah and it's it's just like a uh solitary confinement of like just social interaction with pe- interactions with people you know yeah. you got people treating this like it's a, a plague because for some people it is and yeah then, like i have comedians and stuff i watch that are like yeah i i had it i just can taste my food and you know i just felt like lazy for two weeks and then it's over yeah yeah it's like yeah. very weird it's like some people have it really really bad or some yeah. people just like have it and it's like tolerable right my mother had it in her nostril and that's it. What? She couldn't taste anything. And then she was like, huh, I'll just go get tested and see what happens. But awesome. my mother got my mother got a letter in the mail, kind of like letting her know that like they knew she had it because of who she was in contact with. Whoa. Like it was almost like they knew someone had it and they were like checking that person. Gotcha. And she got I don't a know, letter the in the mail. She got a letter in the mail saying you need to call this number and like we gotta follow up with you and like you gotta get tested. Because wow. there's something, you know, we sh- you should. But she couldn't tested. recall anyone that she was friends with. Right, right. right? I think she was yeah. just out somewhere or working somewhere. She, yeah. She's a dental hygienist. So, like, oh, okay. if someone's a patient there and it's fucked. I don't remember what the scenario was exactly, but. <clears throat> I got you. That is what it is. That's crazy. Um, Worst and best venue in the States. Oh, my God. Worst venue. Worst. You know what, though? It's hard. How do we define worse, right? Like, I think just because it holds 10 people and the stage is about to collapse yeah. doesn't always make it the worst. It Sometimes doesn't. Those it are doesn't. Places. Those are, like, the best places, like, the most fun you've had. I think the yeah. worst, if it's a worse venue, I'm thinking, like, okay, staff. the staff suck, right? The people <laughs> that work there suck. The owners suck. Uh, you know? I'm trying to think. I had fun a few times. With, like, I loved when you get unplugged. And then you just let the fucking crowd collapse. Like <laughs> you're like, fuck it. You're screaming over the music, like, yeah. kill them all. Oh my God. Ah! <laughs> uh the worst venue. I'm trying to think. I don't know. I'm, I'm just hold on. You know what I'll do? Give me a second. Take hey, you're good. I think my favorite venue. Oh, FedEx is here, so Rosie's barking. I don't think you guys can. Oh, I can. You can hear? Cute. I need I need dog <laughs> in my show. Fine. 
Uh, the worst venue. I gotta look at like here's my here's my death metal resume right here, guys. There it is. There it is. It's all Ozfest passes, not fest. Oh yeah, South not America. Fest. Dude, the Black Dahlia tour was so fun. Oh yeah, that. Fun. Who else was on it? Decrepit was it? Uh, yes, for a little while, and oh, then bit, uh, right. what's his name got hurt jumping off the stage. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, I was telling that story. The other day <laughs> oh that wasn't even it it was that mix it was like a mix there was something oh uh, uh, their guitar their guitarist what? thought he had kidney stones or something That's and he went some home sh- that was it yeah yeah it was a tour of mine that bill jumped off the stage and broke his femur yes yes, yes. It was bloodletting tour. i remember hearing that second I, I was tight with second Sean. day into the tour kev yeah <laughs> jeez uh probably one of the worst places i would say Mm, tough man it's kind of tough i'm trying to think i was thinking that place in fucking uh el paso what's the name of it it's not a place anymore oh it's not oh it had a cat as the logo i'm trying to think where it was i can't even remember el paso is weird every time i played there someone got stabbed what two times i played there two times two people got stabbed wow outside the front of the venue because I'm going to say something. I'm not political here. I'm just saying. Uh, it was right on the border of Mexico. I mean, yeah, it's El Paso. It's right there. It's right there, and it's like a sketchy... Everything on that block is either like a very bodega-ish uh-huh. marketplace. So yeah. people are just walking around selling and stealing. That's that's that whole block. That was the whole block. Um, Here, I have it. No, it was a rock it. house. I don't Once think I it was... say it, some of you are going to be like, oh, yeah, Trick it... Falls. Trick El Paso. Fall. Trick Falls, yeah, okay. I've never been there yep. before, but I've heard stories. Uh, oh, another shithole, uh, the Dirty Dog in Austin. Was that that big of a shithole? Bro, they had red mites all over the bar, the food, the, what? and the pizza. When I, when I was there, it was bad. Red mites? Like little wow. fucking red bugs. I like, know what you're talking you know, about. Yeah. Uh, I hated it. Okay, that would have. I was that eating on the bar, and then some are on my arms, like, ah, get me I the probably would have left. Here. Uh, yep. And best... Actually, it was funny. Our kick drum pedal broke, and then no one was willing to give us one to borrow. Oh, so we great. were like, well, all right, we had played a song and a half. We're done. Thank you. And this is Merciless Concept? No, this was Pyrexia. Pyrexia? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Dude. My favorite it's... is probably Come and Take It Live. That's probably I don't think I've played there. When Tomcats West was open, that was in Fort Worth. That was... well, that's... I'm trying to think. My favorites were probably the, uh, was it the Regent in Hollywood? Oh, okay. Yeah. Or LA rather. LA, yeah. Um, and then there's uh I mean the whiskey is just nostalgic. Yeah. Uh oh. DNA Lounge is fun. I've never been uh, to the DNA Lounge. Oh, dude, that place is sick. It you feel like you're on like a game show the way the stage is laid out. Really? Yeah, it's like there's like a stage, right? And then there's like these two staircases that go up. Yeah. Where oh. like you could have your drummer all the way. I think they do do that like, where they have like the a separate level for the drums. And but there's another one. Like it's like you can have like your own little fucking show. That's wild. Uh, I'm trying to think of a fucking sick. Fa- I mean, I'm gonna sound white as hell here, but all the House of Blues. <laughs> A lot of them are awesome. Yeah, tonight. I mean they're very good, nice venues. <laughs> I shouldn't say white. <laughs> <laughs> You're <laughs> laughing in the back. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, but shit. anyway, no, but all the House of Blues are sick. For the it's most part, yeah, very, honestly, it's very I mean, it's corporate. Like, catering it's corporate. is awesome, and the stage sound is amazing. Yeah. And like, except one time, there was one time we played where we literally think they hired a sound guy off the street. Oh, jeez. Well, yeah, the House of Blues Dave, or a different. If you, a, if you ask Dave from Revocation, it, we were just trolling about it all day. It didn't matter. Like we were just fucking up the notes on purpose because the, the sound <laughs> was so bad. Because it like didn't matter. We're like, yeah, can you raise the mic in the in the center mic? He goes, okay. I'm just the drum monitor all away. Was screaming like, like <laughs> and like the, he's like, can you make my guitar louder? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Turns the guitar off. Like you know, like off? I can't even hear what I'm playing. It, it just. The, <laughs> the worst counter differences you can fucking imagine oh, morbid, my God. this was a morbid angel suffocation revocation tour oh i remember that yeah and it was a shit show and it was so wow. fucking funny just don't so play funny. house of blues in downtown Disney. oh jesus that's probably terrible yeah that's probably bad yeah the one we played was in new orleans the one that was oh bad. i've been to that one i was there yeah. with this of the apocalypse years okay. ago that place was dope 
it's dope. That but that's one's what I'm saying. cool. It's the that sound. whole area too. It was, yeah, it was the sound guy. Yeah, the the, the bar right next door had yeah. this really loud bartender, like this older lady screaming out the door, like, "Uh, parties of five. We got alcohol cheaper than anywhere." And I was like, "You can guarantee that?" She goes, "For you, sure. Come on in." I was like, yeah. "Okay." <laughs> she kept this over service. She knew we were with the bands, and we were, she was just over serving the shit out of us. Yeah. She was giving us Gator at half price, Gator Po Boys. Oh, geez. It was so Love sick. and knock it. Johnny. John is funny. He'll just call him out. on John will do that. Can you turn this monitor off? Sick, dude. Can you turn yeah. this monitor off? Sick, dude. Can you turn this monitor <laughs> off? <laughs> dude. I see him doing that. Oh, God. I can hear it's... it. I can hear John in the back of my head. It's yes, so there is good. Joel. Hi, Joel. We almost fought a sound guy mid set once. That's why it's honestly so worth having your own. Yeah. Like, if you can real. do, if you can get someone that's pretty good and you can afford to, them, it's worth it. Mar uh, Marshall, the man that works with Revocation, he works with Black Dahlia. He's like their full time guy. He worked with us on that Black Dahlia tour. Yeah. So much fucking fun. Good sound guys that are fucking awesome people. But... Yeah. Or lifesaver for bands, it's a fucking lifesaver. Yeah, you need it. You have yeah. to have it, or you're just like, gonna be miserable. Some yeah. nights, you know. Sometimes there's venues with like really good sound guys, but they're yeah, out I'm, there. I'm trying to think who else I know. I for, I forget his name. It's like I know his name. Yeah, I think it was. I know we had Yannick from Yannick sounds from. Uh, I don't know if he works with a lot of other bands, but he worked with Belfagor. He worked with oh, okay. uh, De uh, Decapitated, very Polish Holy band. Shit, yeah. Love the Give me Tomcats, yeah. The dude, wow, man. I, I feel like an asshole not remembering the dude from Tomcats, uh, the sound guy's name. It's been years, but he's like this really older dude, and he his board was an analog board. It wasn't digital, mm. and he made everyone sound That's everyone sick. he made that snare pop like if you're a heavy band he'd make that snare pop so hard it, it was just like he he just knew what he was doing he was so yeah. dialed in with every band any style he knew it all well, and those analog guys they know acoustics like oh they yeah they know acoustics yeah so they hear a room they know exactly what frequency you need to yeah. make it fucking I, cut through i remember when tomcats had um the roof was all fucked up and yeah. it was it was during like uh april may so in texas it's like rain you know one day no rain for like two days more rain more rain more rain oh, right man. so you couldn't get the roof redone until it just stopped raining for like a fucking week Shit. and uh we had like 30 buckets in that venue we had to cancel shows i was working there at the time and i remember we had to tear up the carpet and he was just like no we cannot do that it's gonna fucking ruin the acoustics in this room and we're like dude we have to tear it up it's gonna get all moldy <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. i can't you know i'm like shop back the there sucking the up the maybe. water i'm like yo we have to rip this up he's like <laughs> he was so bummed and i'm like what do you want mold in here <laughs> i'm like i don't know what to tell you man. Comes first. <laughs> yeah. he was so but yeah he was dot that dude was the fuck man any band talk to body snatcher talk to i mean dude any band even like bigger bands that had sound guys would tell their sound guy to take off for the night because they yeah. wanted him to do it. I'm trying to because think of just, his name. Someone uh, in chat might know who I'm thinking of. Manaker, do you know the guy's name that works with Cannibal? Or do you, do you know the guy's name? I can't remember his fucking I, name right now. You know, I could probably text my friend Bryce. And ask him. He, uh, his, his Instagram name was like, <laughs> do you know who does yeah. i can't even everyone knows him he's a very well-known dude um what up joel yes bryce lucian have you ever met bryce lucian i told you about him where's he what from what, what what i know Texas seeker that band seeker from the band seeker uh, i know the name yeah they're like very like ion distant beats i don't know. like very you got me interested too. now they're sick. Bryce Butler's a fan, if you know oh, nice. that drummer. Um, uh, I just texted him because I think he knows the sound guy. Can't remember. If you said his name yeah. right now, I'll be like, yes, that's the guy. Um, but anyway, just I man? have a legendary story. This is probably the 
the best sound story I can think of. Uh, we were loading <laughs> in to the Webster. Okay. Yep. Was it Webster Hall? I think it was Webster in Hall. City. Webster right. Hall has the different floors. Yes. Yeah, the so, three floor. Yeah. So on the top floor, we were just loading in for that summer slaughter tour. So all the band was upstairs. Yeah. Just on the main floor, right? Yeah. Just laid out across. And we hear like construction going on upstairs. And upstairs meaning like in the ceiling, because it's like a fucking theater. You know what it I mean? Is. It's yeah, like yeah. massive. I love you know? that place. So you got half the guys loading in. You got the crew, the 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 stage hands loading in stuff, and all the gears sitting around. And maybe like uh, one guy sitting on one cab over there talking with his band. One guy's pick, you know, figuring out where figuring out where the merch booth is gonna be. Yeah. And dude, I think his name is Jeff from Carnifex, the other guitarist, tall I guy, think... not Corey, but the other one. Yeah. Anyway, he's sitting on his amp texting. <laughs> Bro, a fucking saw blade this big comes falling from the very top of the ceiling, hits the wood directly sideways and falls over. And everyone nice. is looking at each other like, what the fuck? One of us could have just died in this moment. Oh, my God. It like, like we were, right next to Jeff? Him, right next to him. Like, it fucking inches. Lands right on the floor next oh, to him. Oh, my God. And the sound guy, this is who I'm trying to think. He was this like the helping sound guy all for the cannibal. band. Yeah. He had a meltdown. He was like, who the fuck is up there? And he's looking for like the, the promoter. The yeah, owner, he's like, raging. The he's floor. raging, isn't he? <laughs> oh my God. He's like, he's like screaming to get these fucking guys out of there. And they're like, oh no, it's fine. It's fine. I'm sorry. He's like, no, it's not. Get those sorry. <laughs> it, was almost, it was almost, it could have turned into all the bands kicking the shit out, out of, of this, the workers. This two people. Yeah, that just couldn't get it through their heads, and it was just one of the coolest things ever. <laughs> I could it's like imagine. I, I gotta. The name keeps like coming in and leaving. It's like Tyran is is, is, is Some like shit. His, I think it's his last name. Everyone calls uh, him by his last, last name, name, but I can't think of it. Whatever. If Bryce texts me back in time. Right? Yeah, I think, knows, I think he knows. I think he knows it. I just have, I have this feeling. Have, uh, remind me to tell you this recent story that happened to Ring years ago. All right, I'll remember. I'll remember. <laughs> I'll yeah. Yeah, remember. I got it. Noted. <laughs> Let me write it down. There's Caputo. <laughs> oh, my God. Are there any, like, um, any, I guess, bands recently that you're, like, in love with? Like, like newer bands that have caught your attention? Yes, actually. Let me look at my Spotify. Uh, yeah. I was showed one yesterday, which was kind of sick. They have oh, two songs on their album. Evidence of it? What's that? Uh, Mike Caputo said there's a video out. of what? The uh, saw blade? Or oh, your no, story? His, his, oh, no, no, his, his story. story. Oh, God, if there was video evidence of that saw blade dropping down. Jesus. Yeah, it, dude, it, it, was, it was sick. It oh, was man. sick. Anyway. Um, so one band, um, I checked them out yesterday. Yeah. More of like a brutal death metal crossover, deathcore kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, Signs of Omnicide. They're on Inherited Suffering. What do you say? Um, sign of signs oh. of omnicide. O m n i c i d e. They have two. The first two, well, actually, tracks two and three, because number one is an intro. Of the new two record. and three have my attention, and then they have one song called uh, "Where Is It?" They made a lyric video, yeah. "Divine yeah. Extinction." Oh, from text. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's gonna be one of the. Yep. Anomalies and putrid colonization. You need to play them in order because the way putrid drops in is the the way to hear it. Gotcha. Um, let them flow. Very I thought slow. that was a good one. Another yep. one is a French hardcore band named Horned, H O R N E D. Yeah. It's, it's like awesome. beatdown crossover with like respectful Ooh. death metal tones. Yeah, I like that one. Perfect. It's Dan Seagrave, dude. That's, oh, that's okay. That makes yep. Yep. That, that's what caught my eye first. I was like, okay, they get it. Yep. They and get Grave, it. artist of all good metal records ever. Gorguts, everything. Suffo, Jesus. You know, Seance, all yeah. that all that shit. Uh, I'm sure he's done, dude, tons of records. Oh, he's uh, done so many. I want to buy some of his art so bad. Yeah, he's still good. I, think I know. He, has I mean, all that stuff. he does. He does. And I'm like, gotta wait. But it's gonna, yeah. I know this is not a new band, but dude, have you heard the new Napalm Death? Yes, it's amazing. The right. whole record. 
that band still like crushes it it's like, like they're they, bending the curve they're reinventing old school like, somehow you know, it's super sick it's insane to me so good this horn shit's um, cool I have a plan i'm on. known as a grandpa though on my stream because I, <laughs> I end up dissing a lot of bands and not will, towards any disrespect to anyone but it's more like fuck how is this a thing right now like yeah I, like i feel like i just a, a, how I'm old are you a huh how old are you i'm 29 oh okay you're only, yeah i'm, I'm not old but like my my taste Your, in music taste is, in music is yeah you know like i like bands like vane like they're bringing back like that metal core oh, sound cool. but like yeah. super pissed yeah i think they do it well i think they're like the number one that does it well yeah their production is super good and like mm -hmm. it's just Perfect. so funny seeing what people care about like how they're like yeah. I remember seeing posts like, oh my God, their album art was ripped from Google. It's like, who the fuck cares? It's like, dude, shut the fuck up. Like album art. That's what we're arguing about right now. It's like, listen to the music. I, I, I never, as long as the band's sick, like, I don't care. Sometimes I'm like, I don't give a shit. I remember when, um, when, uh, what's that last 10 record with the hole on it? I can never remember album names. No, the Violent Sound? No, no. The Red Skull that's on it. Oh. Fucking, oh, uh, oh yeah, Solus um, Hymns. the Solus Hymns. I remember when Wyatt sent me that record cover, <clears> and I was just like, "What?" And then it's he, different. Who gives? And he was like, "No, dude, listen, it's different. That's my think about. It. Like, no one has a, no one's gonna expect this." Yeah. And I'm like, right. and the sound, that record's great. It's oh, a great that record's so good, dude. And I remember, I remember, is the band used to work with Scott Lee, and I remember Scott Lee being like. Or no, Scott, Scott Lee wasn't working with them at the time. It was someone else. But I remember Scott Lee seeing it and being like, that's fucking garbage. Why are they using it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, nah, nah, it's cool, dude. <laughs> yeah. And like now looking back at it right now, you know, five years old, I'm like, it's so tight. This yeah. is the red yeah. skeleton chilling on like a beach yeah. area. Like, But you know what it is? It's just the fact that it, like he said it best, it's different. So think about, do you, do you know what I miss the most? Honestly, I, I kind of wish ios would bring it back but like the iphone jukebox album art roll do you remember organize I, oh. I used to organize my itunes to have album art all the time so when i turned yeah. my iphone sideways it would show all the album art yeah in like a Doesn't jukebox do... function that was yeah. like my oh favorite where you could ever. scroll through yeah and you right that like, shit's but, cool because then you're like what well, oh, i don't want to listen to it and you're just going through the art yeah, right you're like oh right. yeah but because their album art's so different, it pops out. Cover flow is what they called it, right? Yeah, cover flow. Yeah. Um, I got another yeah. band for you, Nihility. Nihility. How do you spell yep. that? N i h i l i t y. From the UK. Oh, okay. They're members of uh, Split Knuckle. It's like <clears throat> they're they're members of other smaller beatdown bands. Yeah. That made a brutal death metal band, but it's like is it imprisoned and sounding? What's that, that? Is that their record, Imprisoned Internal? Yeah. Impris it. Impri if you actually listen to that track, that's that's the banger. That's the banger, um, number two. That one and, I uh, can't remember the other one. Maybe Wretched Compulsion. Wretched Compulsion? Yeah. Oh, is that you, I mean, listen yeah, to that whole yeah. record. It sounds old school as fuck, but it it's does. new I, I, kids. They're young dudes that are, like, super, they're super into, like, good metal. Oh, yeah. and I got it because Cam is here to soar, because he's here, I got to drop Engulf. Engulf? E E N G U L F, just in golf. Oh, in golf. Yeah, it, it's a solo guy. Oh, from, okay, I that's think sick. Jersey or New York? He's, he's like around here. Yeah. Um, Cam showed it to me. It, he pops up in his Discord and uh, in his uh, Spotify, and he goes, "I heard this the other day. I think you might like it." And I, I always, I'm so doubtful. I start yeah, you always like, doubt. Yeah, whatever. Dude, yeah, let me I'm hear sure. It. <laughs> I fell in love with it, and I was just the whole album, all his EPs. The EPs, are perfect. they're good. Yeah, they're they're all like what six, seven songs, six yeah, songs this one's each, maybe. Four. Golden yeah. Rust is three. Yeah, and but two. the newest one, the newest, yeah, <laughs> it's just releases. But dude, it's super intricate, super heavy, super yeah. like he sounds like the singer of Pestilence and like that, oh, with that wow. obituary sound. Yeah, but with newer, lower fucking riffs, dude. It's insane. Wow. Out. Yeah, Bane and fire. I'm trying. What's the one I like? Yeah, which one do you like? I, it, honestly, just listen to that intro. Just it's just fucking stupid. It's sick. Heavy. Oh, and it's just one guy. One guy. This is dope already. Art is sick too. I like it. Yeah, and 
if you look that. at all the work, they all go together. It's one soldier going through like depths. Oh of yeah. Different warriors and shit. It's like so. I appreciate when shit is so thought out. Yeah. That's crazy. This one guy. Where are they? Where is he from? Oh, Jersey. Jersey? Yeah. What like, the? He, he, I talked to him on Facebook and shit. He's super cool. That's so dope. But listen where it this picks is... up and shit, dude. Yeah, it's picking up now. I have to unmute. <laughs> you hear it? I love it. <laughs> Yeah, this is fucking sick. It's like, give it a worse production, you'd think it was an old band. You would. It does but sound like, like an older band. Clean stuff, but the kid's young. He's like, he's got to be my age or maybe a little younger. That's sick. Yeah, I definitely listen to more of this. What I understand, he played everything. Meaning like he recorded drums and he recorded guitar and he recorded yeah, because bass and did vocals, not programmed. Yeah, because the drums do not sound programmed to me. No. I think it's so sick. That's fucking dope. <laughs> Have did this. Oh, fuck. Have did this. Go to this shit and play a random track of Pestilence. You know, yeah, it reminded me of Pestilence. Pestilence in the yeah. later years, that album Obsidio. Obsidio, uh, yeah. Yeah, that whole album has that same exact sound. Same and then sound. when I heard Engulf, I was like, oh my God, it's literally the same, but like Engulf's is better. <laughs> Engulf's. I never really got into Pestilence. I don't know. I never, All you I need guess is I... Consuming Impulse. You just need that That's first it. record. That's just the That's first That's like record. the jam. If you were to listen to any Pestilence song, it's, uh, what the fuck is it? Uh, out, the, out of the Body. Listen out to that Rolo body. Tom come in. Wait, which record is that off of? Uh, Consuming Impulse. It's like oh, their first go. one. Yeah, yeah. Nineteen eighty nine. Yep. Oh yeah. Listen to those drums. Those toms. <laughs> mm -hmm. Listen to that guitar yeah. tone. Yeah, it's good. Nineteen eighty nine. That just sounds good. I gotta listen to this more. Bro, I can I can chew your ear off all day about old school shit. Oh, I know dude, you like, can. <laughs> dude, that but that's what I I I guess this is what my problem is with like today's generation is like they don't, No, but like a kid but they don't can go come back out of nowhere. And... I, this is what I imagine, and I'm gonna I'm gonna make it the most dramatic example possible. Kid works at Hollister. Yeah. Right? He's just working the door, just like giving people <laughs> fucking samples of fucking cologne, uh, cologne or whatever. Or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's just so bored of his life, right? Yeah. He's just so bored of like the general fucking normal public, whatever. Yeah. Goes on Spotify, goes on YouTube, looks how to like, you know, do this and that. He, he just falls into the scene, looks, looks up what's new now, and mm -hmm. then adapts to that. <clears throat> There's to that, no yeah. like, uh, uh, I feel like that's where the scene's going. You ever... You, you know these type of dudes, if I start describing it, right? They care about, they they, beat, they bleach their hair blonde, they buy a <laughs> fanny pack and wear it in the States, <laughs> and they wear, like, old Vans, unironically. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I don't know what I it is. Like, like there's, I'm, I'm being, like, too descriptive or too judgy, but, like, there yes, is something about the new. Who good, though? They don't care about the old scene. Yeah, they don't there's no like, knowledge or respect for the roots of where it came thank from. You. That's the He's way like, when I started say, getting into, when I started getting into like heavy music, I wanted to like, I always went back. I wanted to learn more about the band. I was like, where right. did this come from? I right. want, and I started finding like interviews. I wanted to know more yeah. about these people. But that's why this exists. That's why interviews and shit are cool. But like, yeah, even like the new generation doesn't care that much. They, they just want to hear shit. a breakdown. Even just a like, all right, I, I was going off about some band yesterday. I was comparing, I was going through like maybe one of Spotify's playlists, right? Uh -huh. I clicked on one song. I was like, I like this song. Let's make okay. a station based off this song and see what it does. Mm -hmm. And it was like that one good song was great. Calvin. And then it gave me a, a shovel shit. full of shit. <laughs> after. I was just like, oh, uh, like what? Sucks. But like, I'm only judging the algorithm based off what people are listening to, right? That's what yeah, it is. That's what it so is. If, if this is being listened to by these people, like, what are they looking for? Like, I know. you know, we like action movies, but there's a difference between like, you know, Pulp Fiction and Triple X. Exactly. I wouldn't put them in the same category. You know, yeah, it's, you it's, people are looking for different things. People are looking for like, wow, the way they use that camera angle and like the story, like the dialogue is so deep there. Yeah. And then, Triple X is like, wow, he's on a surfboard. <laughs> it's, so, it's so different and so minimal. It is, it is. 
And that's yeah, why I like band, there's a lot of new bands that just have breakdown after breakdown with no fucking conviction, no, no. Tra like transitions or nothing. No, I know it's it's crazy because I was always the one like when I was I still do even when I find a band nowadays even if it's like an older band that I I guess I look past I'll start mm -hmm. to go back because right probably I'll probably start going to pestilence. It's yeah, like, pestilence is sick. So. I mean, dude, you want to go on a crazy one? I'm I'm gonna show you something right now. It's kind of blow your it's gonna blow your mind a little bit. Uh, Tell me. A, a band called Ripping Corpse. Ripping Corpse. Yep, old school shit. Look up the song Rift of Hate. You can play it now and get to the breakdown and be very confused because this song is old as hell. And you'll yeah, hear how is... old it is when you start playing it. Oh, you can tell right off right off the bat. Mm -hmm. It says 2009 on Spotify, but that's not pos that's no. not real. There's no way it is. Yeah. What is this like late 80s, early 90s? I think it's I, I think it's 89 as well. I could be wrong though. It could be 90 or. Uh, oh wait, you said it's Eric Rutan's band. Yeah. This is his old band. Old. Wow. Oh waffle, thanks for gifting Calvin that sub, you sweetheart. 91. There it is. 91. But just listen to the breakdown. Tell me it's not ahead of its time. It's like the chorus, really. Yeah. God. Are you there now? Not yet. It's in the fast part. Yeah, you'll see. Minute end. <laughs> oh, here we go. What the fuck? You don't even expect that. <laughs> this is so sick. It's just chaos. <laughs> is the whole record dope, I assume? There's a lot of different songs with this kind of shit, but dude, really? like, come on. Eight, 1991. Wow. <laughs> God, dude. Oh. Oh. It's so good. Oh my God. But yep. this is where my brain goes. I get so excited. You're like, holy fuck, they were doing this already. Now yeah. go listen to like, now go listen to, here's another old one that I yeah. love. Uh, go listen to... When I joined Suffo, Derek Boyer showed me this band because he was like, you know what? You remind me a lot of this guy. Okay. And Ooh. for old school bands, you hear how their vocals are. Like, oh, like yeah. That's, they always did that. That's the style they like because it's just the evil, evil. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now go to Reincarnate. Uh, the band is called Seance. S-E-A-N-C-E. -E. -E. Another Dan Seagrave art band. But I bet you haven't. There's not a lot of people that know this band. They were care. just another band that went through Morris Sound and recorded and yeah. went through that legacy, but just they didn't blow up to anything. Yeah. Which record? Uh, Reincarnage. Oh, Forever, oh. La Forever, La For Ever Laid to Rest is That's the record. It. Yeah. And oh, the song is Reincarnage. There. That's 92. This is a. Uh, I think I've seen this album cover something. Ooh. Who was in this band? Is there anyone? Uh, no one that no. I know. But dude, hard. Very hard. But 90 fucking in 92, now. vocals like that. You know, Frank Mullen is like the guy noted for like, for uh, like low end vocals. Yeah, yeah, yeah he is. Look at the way he just reincarnate. Just ahead of its time. Oh man, definitely ahead of its time. Yeah, so like that's where my brain goes. I'm like, give me more of that. And yeah. now, the band I've been just listening to a lot uh -huh. is De uh, Defaced Creation. Defaced Creation. You ever heard of Aeon? Yeah, I love Aeon. It's Aeon before Aeon. Oh wow. A whole song. Just play Baptize and Fire. Holy shit. Dude, hard. Know. The whole album is fucking insane. So this was Aeon before Aeon. Yep. Same lyrical context. If you want another Aeon record, this is it. This is it. 1999. Yep. Love that, dude. I fucking but love Aeon. 
damage Dude, is it's incredible. just incredible. Aeon's coming out with a new record. I know. No, I know. I'm, I've literally it's, been it's just stalking the Instagram. Just yeah. Those they've little been, teasers. Those little teasers they've been doing? Yeah. It's so sick. So sick. But this is this is that oh, world yeah. that a lot of people don't know about, but they, they say they're into records. brutal death metal. Yeah. They like and it I'm not like the gatekeeper here, but I'm just yeah, saying like, like go to I love to have do some research. Right, check it out. It's all there. Go it's down all the, on the internet. Just go down yeah, just go down the rabbit hole. Yeah, I need to start like, doing that like again. People, hit, people even just go to like it gets me mad, right? Because I'll go to like say what's it I'll just bring up a I'm trying to think of a band that I I don't want this to come off making fun of anybody. But if I were to like go to, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I know. He's a friend band, but I'm like, that, that's don't, against the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if I were to like Cannibal Corpse, like who would show up if I made a oh, radio like, station about them? Yeah, yeah that one's or like, pretty who's good. like, who's their, you know, related? I'm just thinking if a new kid wanted to get into a band, this is probably what they do, right? They make a Spotify fucking radio station. Radio, based oh off yeah, one they're like, off. let's do Cannibal Corpse radio. Yeah, but that one's not so bad. But it's like mm. they have like six feet under and and Suffo and Deicide, yeah. Fetus. Yeah, that Mono. one's not too bad. But it's more the new bands is where it's the you new have the bands issue. where it's the issue. Yeah. So oh, yeah, like, if I were to type in, so I'll just slaughter to prevail. Yeah. Maybe. Right. And then right away you get not bad bands, right? No, no, but, these are but, good, but, but none of them are like death metal bands. No, it's all like death. Right. For the most part. But, you know, I, again, I'm not saying one band is one thing, but like there is no like mix in of old shit here. It's all yeah. the same thing. Yeah, it's all the same. You're going to get a, a playlist mix. of just no dynamics in it. And that's yeah, where how... it's tough for anyone to learn about new stuff now, unless you just really dig. Dig. Yeah, you got to dig deep. Find more about the shit. We're it's like, I not... love going to shows and just being friends with the older crowds. Like, dude, even just being in Suffo and like, hanging out with like the old lineups of fetus yeah. just on our like and not sometimes i don't even know who they are and i'm just talking to them and they're like yeah, yeah i, I have no clue for them fucking like uh what's his name that does sound at um auto uh is it auto bar in baltimore, baltimore? auto or uh soundstage no uh, it was definitely think. auto um fuck was he I forget in, his like, name he's got, a, he's right? got an interesting name he was the bassist bassist or guitarist for dying fetus at one point he's got crazy hair but he does sound now at auto bar oh wow yeah crazy and you ran into him yeah just talking and i was like we were shooting yeah. the shit about bands we used to like and talk to you know just he's just plugging in shit. my microphone and we're just shooting the shit yeah i'm like have you been in bands yourself he's like well i was in dying fetus and i was like fuck fuck <laughs> i feel like i should know that you know what i mean like yeah. i just get mad yeah you're like what how did i know this or actually hold on let me see what dying fetus radio brings in that is good it's probably gonna be similar playing to a lot of new stuff like, new tours they have it's but still old stuff. it's still yeah it's still older stuff. It's interesting. They they're like the one band that I really do like that they get on a lot of different tours. Yeah. Like, you ever notice that? They're on no, a lot of like death or mixed tours and they no, still they kill are. it. They really do. They like a it's crazy. Like yeah. fetus, especially. But I know I don't know if I even should say this, but who gives a shit? I know they were wanting to take out Rings of Saturn. Oh yeah? For example, yeah. So it's like there was some other band that I was kind of like, kind of like that they were going to take out. I can't remember who the fuck it was, but I remember just being like, wow, really? Yeah. They're, like, they're not dumb. No, they're, they they're aren't. Just business wise, they're not dumb. They, they like to go chase the young crowd because yeah. they know that's where it is. Uh huh. That was the thing. I mean, with it's stuff smart. That would drive me nuts. We, they were never down to do <laughs> stuff like that. Could put a way Honestly. to call it. Yeah. Whatever, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There we yeah. But. Yeah. But Computer, it's cool hit up, though. Hit up Trey right now. Make it happen. It's, it's, yeah. You got to like, the older bands have to realize like, hey, we got to, you know, you got to take out these younger guys. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and try to and get those fans to come over because they probably have no idea. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of, like you were saying, like a lot of these kids, people, they don't go down like the rabbit hole, rabbit hole, I guess, of death, of metal in general and find these old bands. Yeah. They're just so like sucked into like whatever's new. Yeah, but that's what's scary now is that nothing holds its value in time. No. It's like, for no. me, death metal ages like wine. Like, it yeah. just gets better. Yeah, and so then, you go back to a record from, like, 99 or 89, and you're yeah. like, whoa, this record yeah, still fucking holds. 
Dude, even just <clears throat> Gorguts, if you listen to The Erosion of Sanity and Considered Dead, 90, 91 and 93. Gorguts, yeah. Th those, Amazing. Those, those two albums are so insane. And, like, it's kind of weird to see. There are some bands that just change over time because either they get bored or yeah. they know it didn't it didn't stick like they thought it would. But mm -hmm. at the same time, it is sticking. It's just you didn't stay with it. Like, yeah, I, I don't know how to say that. stay with that, yeah. It was What's your opinion on bands changing? Like their sound. Like, like, do you know of any band that has successfully changed their sound and it was for the better? Because like, like how drastic this... of a sound change. I mean, Whitechapel, you know, did it. Sure. Like, you but said, I that's think, a good example. But they did kind of fall off. That they, I feel like they did come back, though, with the new record in a sense. Mm. Is there? Yeah. But still, but... you know, it was kind of rough for them. I know it's at, at a certain point. Yeah, because I think of them. I think of Suicide Silence. Suicide, but like, even yeah. I've talked to Eddie and Dan Kenny about all that, dude. Like, yeah. But they go back and forth. They now they wear do. it like a new pair of pants. It's fine. Like, yeah, it's just I know. another day. Yeah. Uh, they got around it, and I think that new album helped them get back to where they were. For sure, but with like, Suicide, definitely. Which I yeah. knew honestly, even when I heard the self-titled record, I wasn't a fan, and I told Eddie this, and I was like, "This is weird." To me. I go back to yeah. it now. I'm like, "This is pretty cool, though." But I knew at the time, I was like. Oh, their next record, they're going to go right back. They're going to go right back. I think it was right too back. soon for them, if that it makes could sense. could have been too soon, yeah. Right, because they just had, they had Eddie for, what, two albums? An album? Yeah, two? Because they had that, that, uh... Let's go check. They had that fucking Never Gonna Stop, what, what is it called? He came in, yeah, uh, You Can't Stop Me. Yeah, that one. So one album. So yeah, so one album, right? And then they did another and it was different where I was yeah. like, get your sound in there and make it like stick. Mm -hmm. That way you, you're undeniable. Yeah. Because you're still trying to, I feel bad. It's like, I've been in his shoes in a way uh -huh. where like me joining Suffo replacing Frank was intense and it's intimidating. Oh, and you're sure. gonna have, no matter what, you're going to have people. Do you know Corpse Grinder? I talked to him about it because it was one of those things that I had a conversation with him about like how do you feel about replacing uh fucking uh, what's his Chris? name i i, I cut it yeah i cut Barnes. his brain out since <laughs> it's the worst shit. yeah uh, Chris Barnes, yeah yeah so like how do you how does it how did it feel joining at that time and dealing yeah. with that? dude he cut me off and said dude i still get people saying still still and like bro you have overstepped in the sense of like i don't even care about chris barnes no I'm like, the, sure, the first record's cool but i like those songs better with him live with yeah. george i know you know Same. it's crazy man <laughs> some <laughs> some <laughs> he's so good and it's like how does he still get people oh yeah like, but there will be people always so that's always, why like yeah. i know eddie deals with it with yeah. mick people uh mitch people, mitch people but like yeah. but um it's sad because he, it was a different scenario. He passed it was, away. He passed so away. Yeah. But it was like, yo, when they got Eddie, though, I was like, that's, her. you know, Eddie yeah. and Mitch were friends. Like, that, they yeah. were like, they're like, I'll show Parrish and Suicide Silence. I mean, they're both from California. They both played so many shows together, toured yeah. together. It's like, they're friends. Like, if Suicide's going to get a new guy, fucking Eddie, bro. Right. And if, I think if it's one of those things where if Mitch had to choose, it would be Eddie. For sure. Which is yeah. why oh, it's yeah. great. Yes. But yeah, I think with that record, it was too soon. Yeah. Yeah. But I yeah. think it's going back to it now. I jammed it a couple of weeks ago and I was like, no, this is not that bad. It's pretty cool. And I, I see what they were doing, you know, but see why it pissed everyone off. Yeah. Of course. Of <laughs> you course. know, it's or opposite just people. Thing, That's guess. just what, yeah. But then they came out with the new record, Become the Hunter, and it's fucking dope. And now, are like you ever a Rivers and Nile fan? I love Rivers. I work with them. Yeah. Okay, so you yeah. work with them. So yeah. how long have you been working with them? Since Monarchy came out. So okay. yeah, a few years now. Have you listened? Have you ever listened to like their demo stuff? Yes, but it's been a long time. It's been a long Bro, time. Bro, like I it. still give them shit to this day. Why? Like <laughs> when I when I hung out. Well, Merciless, we used to play a lot of shows with Rivers back uh, when they back were then? when they had John Cunz in the band. Oh, okay. All right. So John Cunz left and created Outer Heaven with Austin, their yeah. merch guy. Uh -huh. And it was just like they kind of split camps, literally. And yeah. then, um, right, you know, totally dude, we were we, me and uh, me and Jake made friends because he was he lived in Long Island for a short time. Oh, okay. 
And in one of his music videos, the one where he's in the box, where he's in the the fucking thing, he's wearing a ZDH tank top, basketball jersey. Really? That's a Long Island mosh crew called Zombie Death Horde. (laughs) And that was like the crew that hung out with Revenants and Partisan Turbine. Holy shit, Partisan Turbine. So me and him connected over that, and I was like, bro, you fucking, you know my language, let's talk. And then we were talking about like just older death metal stuff and we were all like slam heads like yeah like let's play violent <laughs> shit do you know rivers used to be one of those violent bands and now they're like really what they are now that's do you wanna, crazy I, i'm gonna blow your mind with something and you can play this right on stream and it's right well right in your chat bud oh i i give jake shit about this so much because jake had said to me over and over like 2010 we, we gotta get it going like this is when merciless was playing shows with them and it's like we this is the song i got to see them play live and their old this drummer just didn't want to tour anymore. That's Dude, what the whole was. song, the whole, you would think this like dying fetus and cattle had a baby. You gotta listen to this song. It's four minutes. I am right. And I want, I want to hear your reactions. So we're gonna let this be. It's so worth it because it'll blow your fucking head off. It's already blowing me away. But heavier and heavier and then also heavier. <laughs> Damn, they really went in back then. Mm-hmm. Ten years. Yep. And I give him shit. I'm like, and that's yeah, we'll play only if you play old stuff. He's like, ah, I don't know if they know it. Wow. Wow. I don't know how I, I never heard this. Five is Brody didn't want me to hear it or something. <laughs> yeah. This is hard as fuck. It's like scary hard, and it gets yeah. harder. <laughs> I love the dude that uploaded it. Sorry, since I couldn't find it on YouTube, I decided to upload it. <laughs> yeah. Papa Kev doesn't give you what you want. He gives you what you need. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yes, not, you do. But this is what's going on in my brain all the time. It's like, I know there's better versions. Right? Yeah, there's always. I, I know what I'm looking for, and it's yeah. hard for me to now find it in bands. Would you lose your shit if they played this out of shock? Absolutely. I throw my drink across the room and punch <laughs> I love that. God damn. Mm-hmm. This riffs, bro. So in your face, too. That gets heavier. I'm gonna text Brody. <laughs> I'm just gonna text Brody a picture of. <laughs> I'm trying to think who was in the band at the t- at the time. Who's still in it? Is that Jake on vocals? Yep. Wow. I just texted a picture of it to Brody, the guitarist. Well, I know Brody's been in it since the start. Yeah. And Jake, right? Jake and their bassist. Yeah, Biggs, Adam. Big, yeah. Yeah, the guitarist and um, drummer are now the newest ones. Because mm-hmm. that's who replaced John and the yeah. drummer. I can't remember the other. The, this drummer that you're hearing almost played in Merciless, but he just didn't want to tour anymore. And that's why uh, he left. Okay. It's like dying fetus and cattle decaps, baby. Mm-hmm. Literally. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. So sick. Oh, there's Brody right now. LOL. <laughs> Love it. Dumbest mosh parts. <laughs> Listen to Jake, bro. <laughs> he was insane. He still can do it. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah. I just, I, it's in my heart, it, it hurts me when they do that, and then they switch it up. And they like, change it completely. You, you know that Whitechapel song, uh, uh, All of the Hypocrites? Yes. That is the same example. Because yeah. Because it's a brutal fucking song, and it's a hidden track on what I think is a bad record. Yeah. The, the whole thing is, the whole record, and then at the end, that is so fucking dope. 
Yeah, Brody said, yeah, that's our first EP. Same dude who did Monarchy and Owls recorded it. The whole EP is insanely heavy. Yeah. Yeah, it's like three or four songs. I have that's it short. Somewhere. But every song's a banger, but that one is... That one stood out the most? Yeah. That's the one. That's the one. Slam after slam after slam. But it, but that's a song that does it right, where they drop it on you, and then they pick it back up. They yeah, they come to right back to it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of bands, like... <laughs> and again, this is... Uh, never mind. I, I want to drop names of bands so people know what I'm talking about, but I don't because I don't want to be that... I am that guy, but I'm not that guy. I'm not I saying bands saying. are bad. It's just not my flavor. Yeah, I got you. Like, there's this fine. band going around called Distant. Yeah, I know you're talking. Can't fuck with it. Can't. I mean, I think they're cool guys. They're yeah, new. and they're... again, I'm not saying yeah. anything bad about them in any way. I just, they have a song that's like three minutes, and it's like seven different breakdowns just put together. Oh, was it that single? I think so. Argent Debt with all the different vocalists. There's like seven oh. different vocalists. Oh, is that that band? Yes. Ooh. It was all like that. I was kind of thrown off by it, but I was, I was like, oh my, it's like too much. Is the, well, isn't that the band that like paid all of them? Oh, I don't. I think it was like one of those things where like. They paid all of yeah. them? I, I know there's know. one band that was like, I had like an eight minute song and it was just like. Oh God, I don't think like it was Mad minutes. guest vocals and they had to like Six pay out the app for each of them and it was weird. Oh, you're talking about. Like, I feel like I do know. Rojob? Maybe. No, no not they didn't do that. They had guest vocalists, but it was like talent yeah. traders and stuff like that. What did Brody oh, say? Brody I probably have it on my Google Drive, bro. I have, <laughs> I have the Google Music folder. Like, dude. remember when Google Music started and you were able just to upload your iTunes library? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have that as a backup, but there was a message I got. The, actually, I should double check it. There was a thing that they said they're taking that service down. So oh, I, need, really? I might need to back up my stuff. Damn. But I do Google. have an external drive from my old computer. Just filled with all Still like my shit. old soul seek downloads and transfers from friends that oh, I've wow. traded. So there was a lot of bands I have demos of that just don't exist anymore. Brody said, um, I feel like we could have been a big deal in Deathcore if we stuck with that sound pretty early, like 2009, yeah. 2010. Not a whole lot of bands doing the mosh, gent, death metal thing back then. We used to play, as I said, we're doing this episode right now. He said, We used to play with his band a lot, the Merciless Concept. Yeah. He, oh, he said that? Yeah, he just said that. To me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we would play a lot, dude, and it was a good fucking time. And like, I played there. Listen, to, I actually have the, I have the poster for it somewhere. The we played. I think it was that record actually, Monarchy. It was the record. Played, the, I feel like uh, I've seen you, your guy's logo on a Rivers. Yeah, at Reverb. Oh, at Reverb, you played their like record release hometown show. Mm -hmm. oh, we okay. drove out. We were late as f. <laughs> And it was scary because we missed our slot time and John Cunz wanted us to play. So he's like this. Yeah. He's like pat his like pulling his hair out like <laughs> you know, this fucking band makes it. We made we swapped places with one of the bands and we got there on the minute that we were like supp supposed to play. Yeah. So like we borrowed their cabs. We set up our drums mad quick. Like yep. at the time he wasn't he was like a two tom player. You know what oh, I mean? So it wasn't yeah. like a lot to set up. And we borrowed their kick, so that way the trigger was already rigged, and we just went in. Oh, okay, okay. Dude, I love so it. much fun, dude. <clears throat> that band's really, you know, I talk, I talk very, very highly of River Canal because I just think they write great music. Oh, for but, sure. But I, also, I, I still think that good people. I still think that. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't, I, I don't, I, I don't doubt that. Yeah. You know. But hearing that, like that early shit, that's great. I gotta listen. To and, that I've heard like a song maybe... before. I just never went back. Like I never. I yeah. guess it was because I think I found it on like YouTube or something. I like, oh, right. hear this old song. Oh, that's cool. Right. Part of me just is off. hoping that it's... we just planted a seed. Yeah. You know, I, that'd yeah. be so sick to have him one day be like, I'm going to write it. We right. should put one song like this on the record and It'd then be... want to pop off. Yeah. And then, all right, next record, slam record. <laughs> <laughs> or just do like a, like a, like an EP. It's just like, all right, let's wear it yeah. really heavy. Let's go back to like what we used to write. Well, we're in the time write. of singles right now. We are, yeah. So it would be you know, cool to hear them do like a music a video and just see how it goes. I know, right? It would pop off though. I feel like people would Absolutely. love that. Go like Absolutely. Why does that sound? Oh, was it that band, Low Life? I remember hearing about a video, and I apologize to Distant if it's not that if it's not them. 
Oh, it's low life. It's six and a half minutes. Song called Deadweight. CJ McCrary. Ben. Yeah, it's got all Jamie, of the boys. CJ Mc. Oh, the dude. CJ from Valley Art. One it. Ben Mason. Who is that again? Uh, that's uh, fuck. Oh my um, god. I'm so... I know the band. Yeah. He's in too. Pint Glass and that other band. Oh, okay. Well, uh, uh, I know Pint Glass. I almost said Boris the Blade for some reason. CJ uh, McPP. The... <laughs> yeah, that CJ's on it. Yeah. Other, it's other Bound in Fear. Oh, okay. That's Ben. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. Ben. Bound in Fear. Yeah. So I got to yeah. hit up Ben. Ben hit me up right after Stuff from Humanity came out. I sent him an instrumental because he wanted it to do a vocal cover of it. Still hasn't done it. What the fuck is he doing? Right? He, he made a whole post. He's like, thanks so much for sending me the instrumental to do this. Yeah. Never did it. Come on. Fuck, mate. I hate when people do that, do, do shit like that. Yeah. So what are we doing here? That's my life, dude. Oh, and that's what I was talking about with the merch, bro. Like this whole the, 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 the whole, the whole yeah. release is delayed because I had an artist drawing me something and he's like, Yeah, I'll get it to you tomorrow. Just never like album me art? Up. For album no, art? For just, merch? Uh, no, the merch. Oh, for merch. The album. Okay. Okay. So I had one guy doing it and then I, he just never wrote back. So I'm like, All right, fuck you then. I'm just going to go to somebody else. Yeah. Then you have to find someone else. So, yeah. yeah. I hate when people fall through with shit like Fucking dumb. It's like, Come on, man. Don't say you're going to do it and all this shit and be about it and then just like fall off the face. Just stop. Life, don't dude. be don't be that person. Everybody. It's all my labels, all my artists, all my connects. <laughs> <laughs> all. I mean, I deal with this shit too. Like being an agent, it's like, oh my god, with like promoters or this, you know, someone else, or even a band or a band member or a manager. It's like, oh yeah, we'll get this done. We'll get this done. Well, yeah, yeah, let's do this. I'll hit you up tomorrow, and then it's like, don't hear from them for like weeks. Yeah. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah. You try to get yeah. in touch with them, and then they don't answer, and it's like. Why <laughs> do you have yeah. to make my life harder? <laughs> yeah, I think 2021 work, the year resolution is I'm going to be fucking annoying. I'm yeah. going to be up your ass. If you tell me you're going to do something, it's going to be like, you dude, better fuck fucking do day. it. Yeah, I'm going to make phone calls. I'm going <laughs> to blow up your voicemail. You know, I'm, gonna be that <laughs> I'm leaving voicemails. I'm going to send a fucking letter to your house. Yeah. And if I'm I have you on Facebook, I'm going to poke you. <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna poke you every yeah. fucking hour on facebook <laughs> i'm bring the fucking pokes back my guy oh shit i love it that'd be nuts well fuck um, man damn well thank you that's you know thank you yeah. for doing this seriously dude, this, this is has always been a fun, fucking dude. i love, this. I love I shit this. like this I, I I'm getting like addicted, honestly, because yeah. my, I, I mean my stream knows I could sit there and talk about music. I'll just like I said, I'll no, I know I've been in them, yeah, and like. I, I love doing this with friends that like music too. It kind yeah. of feeds my fun energy. Yeah. Um, but no, what I can, Carissa was posting something earlier in the chat saying like, um, Oh yeah, man, she did. What was it? She said, I, uh, I forgot to talk about anything about what I'm doing. Yes. Uh, I, yes. All I will say is I have a new band coming also. Um, oh, so this is like tight wrapped. I can't say much. Cool. I have cool. said band names for anyone that's here. I know there's a lot, not a lot of like, it's a lot of friends here. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely a lot of friends. Uh, the band here. is Alluvial. So it's more like a, a like a progressive move for me. It's not so much yeah. slam death metal, but it's different. So like remember my logic? Yeah. If I'm if I'm doing something death metal and it's not death metal, it's like it's a new band. It's different. It's not the it's not gonna be merciless with singing parts. It's different. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. It's so different. But like okay, I'm into things that. Are happening. Things are moving, things are being signed, things are being really? planned and that's for the homies here just to be keeping an Dude, eye open fuck yes let's do it yeah i can't wait when do you think you'll have you'll i don't know release i'm hoping music. early next year okay so it's we, we've been working through this pandemic trying to get stuff going but have you been recorded been recording oh, the album, all, album's almost ready to go oh wow recorded yeah oh wow we've been okay. we've been in the in the shadows that's fucking so I'm excited. This is this is bread and butter, baby. This is where it's going. That's what it's. I love that. I fucking love that. Oh yeah. Yeah, Damn. it's gonna be sick. All right, sick man. Thank you so much again. Uh, we're gonna go raid. I don't know who should we raid. There's someone on mm. right now that we should raid, Kev. Let's see. Let me take a look. Yeah. Here. Who do you, who are you following? Like I want to. I like to ask um, like everyone that like I let's see who I'm following. I mean, I know Alex Bent is on. Why does that name sound familiar? Drummer Trivium. Oh, okay. Yes. And then Mike Leon's on. Mike Leon. I see Dickie's on. Dickie's on. Who else is on? Let's see. He's ripping yeah. right now, too. Yeah. Yeah. He's just probably jamming some tracks right yeah, now. Yeah, he is. 
the piffy boy. Piffy boy. Uh, yeah. yeah, he's doing some hey, absence like, right now. Anytime he smokes, we call it the piff. The piff, yeah, I know. <laughs> he's such a cool ass dude, man. Yeah. Um, a shout really. out to follow if you guys are into the music, guys. Though, uh, Mark from Chimera's on Twitch now. Oh yeah, I forgot he is on Twitch. Yep, he's I've live right now too. Who should we do? Do Leon? Do we do Mark? Go from... Let's do Leon. Let's do Leon. Yeah, yeah, Leon. Yeah, yeah. I like. Get over to Mike Leone. I love that shit. <laughs> Let's fucking do that. I'll start it up right now to get it rolling. Oh yeah. Everyone, yo, thank you for the follow so much. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Sawyer. Just call him Cam. Cam? All right. Cam. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to do Mike Leon. He's ripping right now. He's showing some bass. He's yeah, he's probably, bass. He always plays his own songs more like he's in the absence. Yeah, he's in the uh, absence. In... Soulfly, Cavalier. Yeah. Right? He's in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's in all of Yeah, he's all in that shit. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. He's a cool ass dude, too. Camp. He's real cool to fucking chill with. Bro, he was telling me he had some tour planned for this Corona year. It was like them and Slip, Soulfly, Slipknot, and some other band. Oh my and god! Like, it just fell through because of the virus. He's like, I'm hoping when that shit comes back, we'll be ready to go, dude. Oh, I feel for him. I feel, yeah, for real. The tour of Slipknot. Right. This would be nutty. Hell yeah! All right, Kevin, thank you again, bro. Love you. Over and out, dude. This thank you everyone dude, for I, sticking. Let's do it again. Let's recap. Yes, yo, I got Trevor from Black Dollar Murder this Thursday. That one's gonna oh, be dope. Awesome. I'm stoked for that. Thursday, okay, Black Dollar Murder. Yeah, he's the fuck. He's the one that gave me the nickname, the, the nickname Kevy Metal. Kevy Metal? <laughs> he did yeah. that? <laughs> yeah. On that's the so tour sick. with them, he was like, Kevy Metal, every time I got on his bus. Oh, that's... Love him. All right, guys. Thank you for sticking around, hanging out with us. See you on Thursday. And uh, thank you again, Kev. Yeah, yeah. Later, buddy. Later, Great. chat. Later, guys.